supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now. But I'm not working. I'm doing nothing. My dick, I'm jerking. Myself, I'm sucking. I am an asshole. I am a stupid. <laughs> Welcome back to the Procrastinators Podcast. Today, it's me, Munchy. I'm out in the woods. I've been straight out for a couple of days now. The woodland creatures are been my friends now. I was on the plane, and now I'm here. Procrastinators Podcast is a podcast about all of my good friends here, where they come from all walks of life. High, low, slow, or bold, they're all here. They draw things. No, they don't. They draw things with their voice. That's what they do. They video edit. They're good people. Here we go. Ben, not Ben Saint. He's last now. It's Nate, man. Hey guys, I'm the best guy ever. Just oh natural here, naked. We have the Thompson. Hello. I I just made a new animation. It's a week old by the time you listen to this, but it's still good. It's still fresh. Check it out. It's uh that what that is. It's Wedge here she comes. Hello, I am Treekin now. There we go. We have the Digi. How long since you've smoked? Uh, less than five minutes. <laughs> yeah, he did it! Okay, Spenja, you have to say. What? You have to go, you have to say. You have what? to say hello, oh, you have uh, to say uh, I'm, I'm keeping it all natural. I'm, I'm, I'm not into, I'm not into these, chemi- these, these laboratory produced chemicals. That. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it nature with my, with my sweet cannabis weed. Mm. I'm smoking a fat bag of bowls I was, here. I was wondering how long it's going to take until someone mentions weed. Well, zero <laughs> minutes. Yeah, about did, about did, a minute ago yeah. when you mentioned yeah. it. <laughs> I, I was waiting for everyone to say their piece. Uh, 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 all right. Okay. Okay. So here we go with fucking nature. With fucking nature. Here we go. Uh oh, Christ. Oh, my 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 recording just stopped. It just stopped. Oh, is that true? It, it just, really? It just stopped. It. Okay. Uh, hold on. Well, that's not good. Nature! Here we go, it's nature. Uh, my audio is better now. Good job uh, for noticing that one, audience. Nature. Do not flanderize me is my first point about nature. We're not gonna do the the, the, uh, the dictionary thing because everyone gets mad at us when we do it now. It's it's now like a taboo, like people don't like it for some reason. No one gets like, mad, and we have to read this definition because it's the best definition there's ever <sighs> been. Alright, here we go. Okay, fine, Urban go, dictionary fine. definition, nature. An erection. <laughs> little boy, l- l- listen, listen, okay. Little boy on waking in the morning. Mama, what's wrong? It's sticking up. Mother to her son. That's okay, little man. It's just nature. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, that is good. Well, good, here's right? how I define nature. I define it as the enemy. It's it's the thing that we are all put on this earth to defeat and subjugate. Um, I, someday there I, will be none, um, and that's I, that's when I want to live. I, I, I have a complicated and sad relationship with nature. It it, it, it is evil, and, and I know that I know I know in my, in my heart of hearts that 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 I, that I have I have more negatives than I have positive. But it's just so deduct it's so seductive in in most of its ways. It it, it always tries to lure me to, to its green vile grass, but but I have to I have to deny it access to my true heart. What you you, you fucking you sound like a robot that's like in the middle of malfunctioning right now. What yeah. do you mean by this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean so much that I can barely understand what you're no, saying? No, that's you not calm true. Down. You gotta take. I have chill, a lot to pill. say about nature. I have too much. I, I haven't taken my pills. Hold look, on. I'm a part of big pharma. We've been cutting down all the forests so that we can make more pills so that we can calm <laughs> your fucking nature problems. So if you're having a problem where nature is I'm causing you nature to be hyperactive withdraw. and Am fucking... I, like, literally the only one who loves nature in this podcast? I'm gonna go No, I, I do. Yes. I do. I, I I like nature. I you just know, I, I just realize that it's awful in every way. Like like I I like okay. I, I I have a big point to say about nature. But here here let's rate nature. Like 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 I'm gonna say like six or seven. I'm gonna say hard seven out of ten for nature. Okay, 
I give nature like a solid nine. I find cool shit outside like all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I give I give a nine out of ten as well. Needs more mm-hmm. purple though. I'm gonna give I, it. I'm, I'm gonna give it a seven or eight. That, I, that I think I'm gonna see light eight. Needs more purple is the same reason I wouldn't give it a ten. Incidentally, so uh, I'm with you on that one, Mage. I'm gonna <laughs> give it. I'm gonna give it a solid two. I mean, I think it did some good <laughs> things. It, it did some good things in its day, but I think that it's been far surpassed. You know, it's been iterated upon and rendered mostly I obsolete. I, I I'm also going to give it a two. Nate, the only reason it even gets a two is because it spawned me. And my mm-hmm. compatriots here. That's about all the good it's done. Nature is the final barrier holding humanity down from reaching its true potential. Once we surpass the limitations nature has placed upon us, like our own mortality, we mm-hmm. will we will be mm-hmm. un unburdened by its by its primitive bullshit, and we can achieve greater things than we ever could before. I, I, I'm interested to see what Nate will say. I, w- I wonder what his rating is. You know, maybe, um, because, because it would go to show uh-huh. from what we know about him that it would be low. You might have expected me to say that I'm not a big fan of nature and that I, I only care about human progress and evolution and, and you know, uh, uh, advancements in the scientific field, but there is an aspect of nature that I quite like, and I quite like how it affects the value of two stats, usually increasing the non-HP stat by 10% and decreasing another by 10%. Mm. You know, like the nature of, of your average, like, you know, uh, Flygon, for example, uh, can make a big difference in whether it's tourney viable or not. Mm-hmm. So in that respect, I find nature to be a very valuable force. Uh, it's, it's A lot of people criticize it for being overly complex and obtuse, not yeah. making a lot of sense uh, in terms of uh, the Gesamtkutzwerk of the gameplay. But I'm I, I, I like it. I like it mm-hmm. still though. Before we continue on the subject mm-hmm. of nature, I'd like to introduce a new segment really quick. It's oh, called no. it's called Ben versus Ben. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I, I, I like a, this. Here's a clip of Ben Saint from episode like ten or so of oh. the PCP where we're talking about <laughs> probably sequels or something. Oh, it, iterative works can never be as good as the original. Uh, <laughs> originality is the most important thing for a for work of art to have. Uh, iterations can never live up to originality. Fast forward, Ben Saint 2018, <clears throat> nature gay. Well, so. you know, you're, 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 you're onto something there. You're, you're close to truth. And you, you, you would have a point, except that nature is not a work of art because nature was procedurally generated by an algorithm. Oh, um, shit. I, I, so, so, so is nuclear throw not art? Is, is nuclear throw not art? Is, is that what you're trying to say? No, the al- well, well nobody, nobody made the algorithm. Wait, I mean, no. no. Well, God, anyway. God made it, you stupid idiot. There's God no made it. Did you, not, did you not read the instruction manual, a.k.a. the Quran? Um, wait, <laughs> shit. Uh, ooh. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, I'm back to okay, a new okay, corner okay. now. Okay, Nuclear Throne <laughs> is a work of art, but any individual game of Nuclear Throne is not, because it was procedurally generated. What, the what, nature itself is the, procedurally generated Then where is the, where is the art if, if every single run is not art? Where is the art, then? Where is the it's art? It's in the algorithm. It's in the algorithm. You just said, if, if anything, the algorithm should be the opposite of art, because the algorithm is the part that is procedurally generated. Um... No, I agree. The algorithm is not procedurally generated. The algorithm is static. It's it's the it's the instances yeah, yeah, that yeah. are derived the, from the algorithm. The algorithm was crafted by a master craftsman. <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a, a god yes. among men. Uh, well... There we go. We solved nature. Yep. He, okay, okay. Here, okay. Uh, here's what I want to start this off with. Here's my big point. Here, he just straight to the point. Use my main weapon first. I want to. I, 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 I like nature and stuff, but I know how I can make it better. And here's what I want to institute across all the land. I want to amusement parkify nature. I like <laughs> seeing trees. I like to breathe, and I like seeing relatively small animals, ones that cannot pose a threat to me. Rabbits a bit too a bit too big. I want to see like maybe like a snake or something with no teeth. That's what I like. I want there to just be like big sections of the the nature, uh, you know, forest, desert, whatever. Like like completely, you know, taken over by man and turned into like nature light with all with all the, all the edges smoothed and and there's like pathways oh, everywhere. I, 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 I want to walk into a forest like on like a street and I want to just walk on the street. Like, have you ever been to Disneyland and like in the in the in the, in the fucking uh, 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 what what's his name the the adventurer guy the guy with whip that part you can just like walk around and you're like in like a, a jungle type place. And I want to be in a, I want to be in a Aren't jungle these called with parts? roads. Munchie, I, 
I'm totally on your I, side no, here. That's not that's not nature enough. But she, I, I'm totally on your side here because mm-hmm. uh, I think all you need to do this is the one stop solution to mm-hmm. make solving nature and making it fucking awesome for everybody. Mm-hmm. Debug nature. Exactly. Yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, by that <laughs> I mean remove it. the bugs. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant by that. Right. You just need to remove the all the bugs. I and nature's want great. Removed. The only bugs I want removed is like mosquitoes. Nah, man. Maybe Recently, leeches. so during the summertime, the you know, bugs, I moved man. into this new place up in fucking New York, and I just there's a bunch of paths near my house, like really nice paths to, through just the wilderness, basically that would be fun to run on every single day, if not for the fact that during the summer. It's completely full of these giant flies that love just landing on you constantly. Flies, so flies. if you try to walk down this path, you just constantly have flies landing on you. And it's so fucking, like, maddening that you can't even walk on it. And then in the winter, it's completely covered in snow. So d- basically, d- d- it's Digi, I, I agree with you. Though, though, though I want to have a slight, a slight compromise. Because I love bugs. I'm a big bug enthusiast. But I do agree that they are, like... They are sin. They they are they yeah. are what <laughs> makes bad things happen. So here's what I want to propose: May, reduce the, the 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 population of all bugs by seventy five percent, but increase their size by double. So <laughs> you can just like you can walk into like like a cave no. somewhere, and those be huge. This fucking is just bees. gonna be an RPG fucking world no. where every yeah, five yeah that's exactly what I want. Fucking bug. That's what you I know, want. One of the I want bugs to be beasties. Is how small and sneaky bugs are. So we could, if we could annihilate that factor, if there were just less bugs, but they were all a hundred times their size, mm-hmm. that would be that would go a long way to making me more willing to accept. I mean, we would you just, want, you you want, want spiders bugs. big enough to, to eat you. Them. You want spiders big to, enough to consume you to get trapped in a giant bugs. spider web. They're rats. She's right. She's they're right. bugs, <laughs> but no, we're not. That but there aren't insects. They're still bugs. Uh, okay. I think they are. I would like, consider whatever. them bugs. Bugs is bugs is uh, bugs is cultural. Bugs yeah, is culturally yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. defined. If, if, if even a bunny could be considered bugs, then the door is wide open. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 oh the term God. bugs is a social construct ma- ma- exactly. ma- made made by fucking hominid uh, overlords. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so okay, okay. So yeah, like 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 what me and you're saying is like, I, I, well, I, what I'm saying is I want to like get a soda in a forest. I want to like walk through a forest. I want there to be like a sidewalk. I want there to be like ropes. I want to be able to like you know walk over a ravine and be like, wow, what a cool ravine. But I'll still be, I'll still like have a gun. There might be like some like torches <laughs> nearby. There might be like some like guide attendant. I want to be able to kill I mean, any are, animal that tries Munchie, to face me. There are places me, and I'll like be... this. You can like no, in, they. This okay. is what a safari is essentially. Like Australia or something. Yeah. But can I go to the safari two minutes from my house? Actually, I can because there's a safari zoo where I live. But that doesn't count. That's not true. Yeah. That doesn't count. I, 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 I lived I, near a I place like that. I want that to be that. every forest. There's I want like, it to be every forest. There's, like, places like that that they build over, like, a marsh where you can, like, walk on, like, a bunch of bridges and shit and just be like, whoa, it's a marsh. Sick, that, dude. Well, okay, that, you know, that, that, that you should know just what? be all nature. That should just be all nature. Yeah. Nature would just be better. This I, reminds I, I, me... I, I, Okay, well, sure, well, sure. Okay, all right. You, actually, just... I, I want to say that it's interesting you mentioned that, Munchie. Like, I'm imagining all of nature having paths, and basically it would just mean that there was, like, roads everywhere. Like, the yeah. whole country would just be walkable. So that would be fucking awesome, because I imagine, like, walking cross-country would be fun if it weren't for the prospect of, like, I have to either walk on the highway or uh, fucking navigate. Nah, man, mm-hmm. just everything's a road. And, and there's beautiful scenic <laughs> nature yeah. around you. And, and, you know, and then there's there, still oh, just just one thing, Nate. Okay, there there okay. could still be, I want I want the, I want this to be like 95 percent of nature. What we're describing is just roads everywhere and like little turnways you can go. But but also there should be danger zones like like kill yeah. you fuck you zones yeah. like for the for the high the high ranking adventurers like like there would still be like it, caves set off for like if you be, if you want to die. You want yeah. the world to be structured like an MMO where like I'm literally that's PvP, literally yeah. what I want. <laughs> yeah yeah. I want there to be like high ranking zones for for if you like get like a license if you apply at the DMV, you can get like a, a like a good boy haha like a uh, rank we're, and you can go inside these devilish caves we're, we're, it, we're like, t- we're touching, those will kill you we're touching on yeah. something that i think is important i mean i i like i like this idea for improving nature but i think the mm-hmm. single biggest thing that nature is currently lacking is drops 
Like, there's yeah. just, there just aren't, there just aren't <laughs> yeah. that many drops in nature, Well, you, you, know? you know the problem is that nature actually has quite a few drops, but they're very Dude, difficult to on. find. They don't have enough, they, they haven't, like, uh, the, the, the designers did not they're put not enough, like, shimmy shines on yeah. them, so they stand out I don't out think that nature was, was very well created as, like, as the Skinner box, you know, like it's it was Skinner box optimized. loop is not that effective not because well, the I drops mean, are yeah. so few and far between. No, and there was they, drops. They don't, they don't come all been, they've all been collected at this point. What what is gold other than nature drops? And and, and they've all been oh collected. Oh my gosh, you're right. And it's they, gone. They've been mined. People. But when was the last time earth? you got a gold drop? I personally have never too gotten high. one. Look, what we're, the problem is right now is we're just waiting for this this zone, this planet to to reset. And that's when the next asteroid's yeah. gonna hit. Everything's gonna I, reset. We're all I, that's, yeah. Well, that's well, how in, in the current meta game, really in the current meta game, game the drops are just the drop rate is just so low that I just don't feel engaged with the system. I don't well, feel the, engaged the, the, to the continue. Where, uh, you're, where, where you're grinding though, like if you go to like an apple orchard in in the autumn, then <laughs> heck yeah. True. Yeah, I, I, I think drops. it says. Are those drops? Are the, is that someone building like a farm on their land? It's literally no, no. It's more like harvest materials in the. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, but, like, it, yeah, you can get tons of drops there, but you have to build the farm. Like, you can't, mm -hmm. you can't just wander through a, f like, random forest and get tons of apple well, drops. Well, you can get, you get berries. Blue, yeah, blueberries, and uh, you can get mushrooms and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, these are all good points. Munchy, I found, I, wanna I, I got the, I just want to say, by the way, that I've got, I've right. got one of the best rare drops of all time, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. is my uh, elated Arab gentleman. Who just yeah. Yeah. Sprung, yeah. literally sprung did, from nature? That, that's a legendary drop. Oh, oh okay, yeah. okay. D d digi, I want you to say that story immediately, but instead of immediately after Nate, okay. but please say that story. Uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna launch into the whole thing, so he should just go first. Oh, okay, okay, oh. Digi, I, please. I, I right, remember the first time you told me this story. I was in a fucking Skype call with your ex girlfriend, and the most <laughs> it was the most it, it, it made me elated. It was the most ingenious and incredible thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. It was a story arc, and I still I still have the file of the image you sent me of the late gentleman <laughs> called "Video Games Are Dead" on my computer right now. Right. I still have it. Well, Please since go. I was trying to remember where I had told this story before, and it was only in a patron exclusive podcast, yeah, so never, I guess I can tell it here. Yeah. So, uh, one, it, it's a simple story. One day I was uh, at some function. My mom had to go to the school, and I, I went with her. I had to walk home, basically. It was like a long walk, like a two-hour walk, and I was just like, fuck it, I want to walk. So I, I'm walking home, and I'm on the side of the road. In the, in the middle of an area where it's just forest on the side of the road, like a 45 mile an hour road in forest. And on the side of the road is this giant cardboard cutout of what can only be described as an elated Arab gentleman holding a cell phone, looking like the like a, most a flip relieved. Phone, a flip phone. Yeah, a flip phone. And he's got like the most relieved face in the whole world. He looks like he just finally got reception <laughs> after struggling, you know? But he's like and, and, literally wearing like a turban and shit. Like, yeah, so, yeah. So I just find this cardboard cutout, and it's only the top half of his body, uh, just sitting on the side of the road, and there's no possible building it could have come from nearby. Like, it wasn't close enough to anything. So it had to have come out of the back of someone's car or something, or just been thrown <laughs> there. But I don't know the source, because there's no, like, labels on it. Like, I assume it's from, like, a Sprint store or something, cause I, I think it might say Sprint <laughs> on his phone, but... I mean, yeah. I'm. I just picked it up and I took it home with me and nailed it to my wall. And uh, that's now one of my most prized <laughs> it's possessions. Incredible. Uh, you can click on the link in the show notes to see to see the image we're talking about. Oh, yes. oh boy! Fantastic. All right, Fantastic. All right Nate. Please, I beg okay. you. We, we we are at your will. And we have bent our knee. Please. He, okay. He, Here's what I want to talk about. Mage, wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I just want to see Vera Beck. Someone's like knocking on the okay. fucking window. F All right, fair kill enough. Him. Kill that gremlin. Uh, I, so, I've never heard Mage say fuck. That's nice. Yeah, it's good. I, I wanted to bring up, I recently saw a video by a guy I quite like on YouTube. It's one of my ASMR boys, this guy named Ephemeral Rift. Oh. And ju just listen to the name of this video. Okay, here, here's what it is. We belong in nature. In parentheses, civilization is cancer. That is the full well, name of this I video. I hate this guy already. But okay, he, listen. He, he's he's very woke on a lot of issues, but he oh, is he an absolute... He super woke. I, I, indeed. I, he's incredibly woke. He is, <laughs> he, he is like the biggest uh, anarcho-communist that I've like yeah. ever encountered in my, in my travels. <laughs> and it is very unfortunate. Uh, okay, so this whole video 
is him. It's you can go watch and okay, you will see this video if you go search his channel. We belong in nature. Civilization is cancer. It'll be in the show I have, notes. I there yeah, will definitely yeah, be a yeah. link in the show notes. <laughs> I have a gigantic comment that I left on this video. Oh, uh, oh just fuck. under best guy ever. You'll be able to see it there. Um, and so he basically talks for extended period of time. It's like an hour and a half long, and that that's fine. Uh, of why, like human civilization has gone too far, and we have strayed away from like. What he might God's be totally lying. right about. What he, he's talking about how, look, we right now are all, like, lonely people. We're, we're too capitalist. You know, we, we everyone cares about their oh, own. Oh, we can all much. agree with that, Nate, that we're all too capitalist. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, of course. But, uh, look, I'm willing to concede there are, there are issues here. But basically his point is we should literally all be living in nature. <laughs> uh, we should be living in, like, small tribes uh, the way that we did originally. And it's, it is his idea that, like, we should really go back there. And he, he's woke, man. He accepts the fact that there's going to be some problems with that. It's not going to be easy, but he thinks that is the best way to go. And, of course, in, in my comments, I point out what seems to me like blisteringly obvious facts like, okay, well, before we had, like, civilization, a lot of people died from diseases that we now have cures for. Um, so what, what about all that? Do you want, like, all these pregnant women to just die in childbirth? Because, you know, like, uh, this civilization will Debatable. be great. It, it, debatable. This civilization he's talking about would be great for, like, jaded guys like him who are really fed up with their 9 to 5 jobs. And this guy's a very successful YouTuber, so he's, I don't even know if he's too fed up with, be, with being way too Wait, 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 wait. Nate, Nate, good. Nate. What? I need to interject what? here because I have no idea who okay. this ephemeral rift is. Let me show you a screen cap from the video, but go on. Uh, go on. So he is, he's a successful Anakin. YouTuber. He possibly makes his living off YouTube, and his solution is to <laughs> get rid of all civilization and wants to go live in a cave. And, like, yeah, the entire way right. that he's he's being able to broadcast this message, he's spiting. That's, this guy looks like this guy, this guy looks like Ben Saint's cartoon avatar of himself, but with a beard. <laughs> yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Let me let me see this. Literally. Like, like oh my god! Like if no, Ben gets guys, old, this will just be Ben. It like, kind of does. <laughs> there he is. I, I am in no, no. Oh, no. I'm shitting future. on ephemeral rip. Oh. I am, not I, I this I am guy. in no way trying to shit on this guy. He just looks like Ben Saint with a gray beard. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. I this, totally. This will also be in the show notes. It's better. I just want to make it clear. I just want to make it clear. To the audience. I think I, I think I'm love. I think I'm changing my mind. I think I'm going over to this guy's side. <laughs> I think me and him are just gonna go live in a in a hut somewhere. I literally like Ephemeral Rift a lot. Nobody go bully him or say shit to him. But you could but Please politely disagree if you do so after watching the video. Don't even just take my word for it. Watch the video first. Um and so but it's an the, the hour point and is a half this guy's long. sentiment. So many people put this the idea of like nature and like old civil old human civilization on such a no, pedestal. noble savagery it, 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 exactly and to me it is it, it is clearly because guys like this I've, i you know i i've watched this guy for years i know his full backstory he like had to work a shitty nine to five to like get himself to a place where he could like support like his wife and kid and he's like There's this guy he's pretty problem. depressed a lot of the time he's got depression like he sees all the flaws in modern civilization he's very woke I know those issues, but what he's not focusing on enough, in my humble opinion, is the way that millions of people died in extremely preventable ways in the olden days, and I do not think we're necessarily better off just throwing yeah. away all the modern that's, advancements That's we what have. I'm like, saying. The nature metagame yeah. is broken. It, we, we, had to, we had to update it. We people, had to, like, people, okay. are so, is the patch people are notes. so obsessed with the aesthetic and the romanticization mm -hmm. of nature. And it's like, oh, modern society has all these problems. We need to go back. Like, that's the equivalent of saying modern society has all these problems. We need to magnify them exponentially. It, yeah. Literal romanticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's exactly, disgusting. That's exactly what it is. We need exactly to go forward further. We're in an incomplete the, the system, is, not a broken These guys one. are not maturely well, okay. looking at Hold how up. to deal with well, these issues. Well, all right, let's... We, we, I think we uh -huh. can all agree... <laughs> I don't think we all need to, like, fight hard on the side of civilization should exist. I think this guy's <laughs> yeah. opinion is rather extreme. But, but uh, guys like this we, are more rampant than I'm comfortable with. They are more uh, out there. You're more guys. rampant than I'm comfortable <laughs> with. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> right. I, I, but I, I, don't, I don't think we need to, like, throw the baby out with the bathwater and uh, be like, indeed. oh, fuck nature just because we uh, favor no, civilization. We do. But I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that these kind I of, am. like, hyperbolic extreme nature worshiper guys, like, that's not the solution either 
is not where we should I, be going. I, what I don't understand is like like the like okay, if you want to say sure, like human uh, human civilization was a misstep, retarded, yeah. but okay, you can say that. If you want to propose that we go back to nature, like mm. after ha- like having cultivated these cities, if you yeah. want if you want to be like practical and then say okay, go back to nature now, that is probably the most stupid fucking idea I've ever heard. Besides being a porn manga artist in under a month, besides I- that, th- this is the, sc- <laughs> the, the wait, population wait. is way. D- <laughs> I ain't never said anything like that. <laughs> like that. I the, the population is way too high, and exactly. and we've we like you know I don't want to be one of those guys, but you know we we've done things to this planet that like we can't like we can't really like come back from like it would be weird to like well, go back. You know what? Sure. You know what the I, thing I, is, dude, would, and, and like try and be tribes again. That would not. I don't. Make sense. I don't believe. Be I don't believe that this guy actually believes this. I think he's trying to to put on airs while complaining because there's nothing stopping anybody mm-hmm. from just going and living in nature. You can just drop. See, off oh, the face the of the planet mm-hmm. people do like, nigga, that if you want to go just go do it just go take your family and do it but he's like no man and that's these fucking commies man they want like ev- <laughs> they, they need everyone to do their shit or it's a fucking problem no one's stopping you motherfucker just go do it stop trying to drag everybody else down with you oh my god it fucking pisses me off and i disagree with literally none of the complaints that he makes in his video i agree with 100 percent of them but the, his proposed solution is retarded is completely retarded agreed uh, well that's it. i i want to Almost as retarded as get nature us, itself. I want to get on to talking about nature in a positive way, because I'm looking sure. at the background I, of this guy's video. I like nature. And, uh, you know... DJ, you're the problem. You're you're romanticizing aesthetic. No. That looks the, pretty, I, the, but Aesthetic but is terrible. everything! If you is, <laughs> Nature is good because it has a good aesthetic. Nature is great because it is a good aesthetic. Yeah. I know mean, it's like you can see a trend and can be like... No, you're not saying uh, nature's good. You're saying aesthetics are good, and no, I agree. I, I, but I, actually I, being I, there is, is awful. Looking at I, it, no, great. I, I being the there, shit. I it's, think the aesthetic look at of nature He's, is felt ten times stronger by being, like, especially of a forest like this. Like, this shit, when you see these in images, they all look exactly the same. Because every forest yeah. is the same shit. Especially if you're in a forest that's, like, in town. It's probably yeah. what I refer to as a septic forest. Where it's mm. basically just a small creek that is where all of the fucking septic tanks empty out. And then, mm-hmm. uh, like, just a bunch of fucking trees, you know, for mm-hmm. and like a narrow, probably a narrow strip. Like you can't ever get deep enough to not hear cars. But that's like most of the forests in like suburban America. And that's I used where, to like ex- the high level mob spawn because of the excessive right. toxicity, you know. Okay, yeah, right. I used to explore those forests all the time when I was a kid and just like play with sticks and fucking you know pretend they were samurai swords and mm-hmm. cut trees. Of course. It's fun times, you know. It, so it, back before iPhones, that's what you had to do. If, if I never had an iPhone, but uh, yeah. the the forests were like, you know, I would just go exploring with them with my friends, and that was some of my like most memorable times because I grew up real sheltered, and like exploring a forest was like, whoa, I'm on a fucking, I'm doing something away from home, I'm fucking getting out. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, you it's, it's like five feet away. It doesn't away. make you puke. It doesn't make you fucking cough and gag wherever yeah. you stand. You can go out there. You can fucking breathe. You can see green. Occasionally you'll come across like some like creepy bug. And you'll be like, ew, hee And then you'll touch it Dude, and poke it a lot. I mean, I, the first time I ever went out to the mountains and like stayed in a log cabin out in the mountains and heard nothing because it's just quiet and you're just like, what the fuck? This is, it didn't even feel like the same earth. Like I didn't know that like reality was supposed to be quieter than nature, what it is. Nature can be very enjoyable. I, I, have you guys spent a lot of time camping? Because in my youth, I, I, I was I, the I, yeah, it's huge miserable camping story that I want to say. I actually here. love as, camping. As soon as oh people are, it's just kind useless. of a big, a big well, work. I want to get through. I want to get through my yeah, forest sure. aesthetics thing because here's sure. how yeah, yeah. I enjoy the forest. No, camp. You know, I I got into exploring as a kid just because it's fun. But later, I got into black metal and uh, like atmosphere. <laughs> the same thing, like, really. Extreme. <laughs> well, almost all black metal is like about how beautiful nature is and destroying human society and organized religion in particular and uh, <laughs> and like paganism and shit so like mm. if you listen to like Agalach, all their fucking songs are just like about fuck like one of their songs the, the probably the most famous which is called um in the shadow of our pale companion is mm. a song that is just about a guy wandering through the forest having an existential crisis. And, like, so if you're ever wandering a forest having an existential crisis and you put on this 14-minute Agalot song while you walk around, it's, like, the most aesthetic experience you could have in your hometown. Is his, so. is his pale companion white privilege that he needs to smash? <laughs> no, I, I think it's God. I think oh, it's... Well, okay. same difference, I guess. 
I, 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 I've actually listened to, I, I, not the same thing, but, I, but I've listened to another album about, like, like fucking uh, angry white men from Seattle getting mm-hmm. angry and putting on silly voices, talking <laughs> about how cool nature is, that I also did, like, uh, by Kithkin, Rituals, Trances, and Ecstasies for Humans in the Face of Claps. That, look that up right now. I actually, click on the link of that. That was good, and I liked that. That was, that, that was, oh, that was also fucking Twinks from Seattle doing funny voices. Okay, Angalacha <laughs> from time. Portland, thank you very much, so. Well, this, literally, this, name one difference between Seattle. Washington, Portland, Oregon. Portland uh, is weird. <laughs> so is Seattle. Amount of homeless people. Okay, that, that is true. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. If I have the floor for a couple of minutes here, I would like to talk about my sixth grade camp. Hmm. Because, because my sixth grade camp was the worst week of my entire fucking life. Agreed. I, I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to explain what sixth grade camp is for the people who don't know, who maybe live in shit countries like <laughs> like uh, America or, you know, Britain, shit like that. Disgusting. Uh, so, okay, sixth grade camp is you enter sixth grade, and then you go on a camping trip somewhere around, you know, the beginning of your year to accomplish nothing really it's just fun i guess so 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 i come there and the entire like week before it i'm dreading it because you know i, I i'm a role player on the internet and i don't have time for things like trees or bees or any sort of bullshit like that i don't want to leave my precious laptop and all my malware ridden fucking like ad laced <laughs> web browsers i don't want to do that and, and but but i'm forced i'm forced to i'm forced to so i have to go i get on the bus we go there and we're, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere and, and it's all fucking scary and and all all we do, besides sit in cafeterias where there's, like, no electricity, it's all fucking, well, you know, electricity that I can use. There's, it's all horrible food. It makes me fucking sad. And what we do day in, day fucking out is we hike. We hike through fucking treacherous mountains, through dangerous fucking, you know, uh, pathways. I see, I see like, a bear at one point. I see, I see, a, what are the dog-looking things? Well, I see one of the dog-looking things. Cats. Yeah. That's what they are. Big cats. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's fucking terrifying but but i came to an epiphany while i was there i i i looked around and like you know because, because i was a fat kid I, I was always behind and i was lagging behind and i needed more water than the rest of the people so i was drinking and sweating so but i came to the realization that that the, around me was pretty i liked it but i just needed roads i needed civilization <laughs> to assist me in observing nature i liked being out in, in, in the hot blistering arabian california son. I liked that, but I wanted to do it on my own terms, and as a human, my own terms was destroying all of the genuine sincerity of it and making it like an amusement park. I needed concession stands, I needed roads, I needed fucking torches, I needed tour guides. If I had that, then this would be great. If I didn't have to, like, use my legs, well, not, well I, you know, not, not as in not walking, if I didn't have to, like, jump up and, like, fucking cross ravines and fucking, you know, f- 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 jump as far as I fucking could, then that would be great. If I could just walk walk places, it would be perfect. So, like, I, I like nature. I, I, I like seeing the dog things. I like seeing trees. I like to be able to look up mountains and be like, wow, that's a mountain. But I don't like being in danger and being scared. The wor- the worst thing in fucking sixth grade camp was like the second to last night, where like we had to like walk in the dark. We didn't we didn't hike this time. We like we like walked to a nearby museum, but this nearby museum was like like through a uh, a beaten off road path. And by road, I just mean like there's slightly a section of of this like grassland that does not have grass on it. It is just dirt. It's still it's not an actual road. It's just you know dirt. And and and, and the tour guide we we had like a guy because you know we were all babies but he didn't do anything he was just like yeah they're like snakes around here so if you see a snake well bye and, and, and it was terrifying because it was in the dead of night and we had to walk for like a fucking mile to get this stupid museum and just look at dead things i hate dead things i want to be alive and that's why i hate dangerous <laughs> things and that's why i hate nature i mean you live in you live in california and there's a bear just on the flag of california like yeah. b- uh, bears are real that bear's and they're extinct. just in the woods they're out there they are out yeah. there and yeah, they, like they, sometimes they just when you're are camping, ready to kill. Yeah, they'll they'll just come to you and murder you. It happens. Mm. It happens. And that's it's not, that's it's not the common, state but. of nature, and it's awful and should be abolished. But if we had roads and torches and guns, nature would have to bend to us. Yeah, I don't. And that's my proposal. Look, no, no, no. You, you. I think people have a lot of human guilt, and so they feel like, oh no, I'm oppressing these bears. Uh, fuck them, kill them. <laughs> don't care. They look, can die. Look, this is what we need to understand about nature. Do you remember, like, a few days ago that, that did you see the, the story that was going around on Twitter of the lady who kept pulling worms out of her eyes? 
Yeah. What the fuck? No. There was this lady who had to end up going to the hospital because she kept pulling. She felt something wriggling around in her eye. And uh, and she could oh. see it, so she got in oh. and she pulled. I, I watch BR, pulling bizarre ER stories like that. Worms yeah. out of her eyes, and they had they had to have surgically removed like twelve of them from inside of her eye. And the reason it was so fucking terrifying is because there was a parasite that does this that before this case we thought yeah. didn't affect humans. Oh, Jesus. that like someone who said had some insects in their organs. That is nature, okay? <laughs> fucking. She, and her name was Wife of Undertale. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So, so, so this Remember is him? what nature is. Nature is like you know fucking like arachnids that that capture things and then like inject them with like see, like fucking poison that melts their organs from the inside out and then they drink you them know, up. This is you nature. Know, okay, but also like, N- nature but, uh, is but fucking isn't cool? tornadoes you know, isn't and, that and, and let me let me speak cool. for a moment. <laughs> While we're on this topic, because I don't want to, I don't want to tra- trail off from this topic and then be un- mm-hmm. unrelevant. Anywho, good, good. on this topic, uh, so there's also like these uh, mega things that eat rotten flesh, but they're used medicinally mm-hmm. so that to save people's like limbs and stuff to to like because uh, they're put on on the rotten flesh to eat it, eat it away, and they do it so cleanly that you don't have to like hack off the whole limb. You just you just get rid of the the rotten flesh and stuff. So in that sense, those sort of things help and leeches sure. used to help in the b- back in the days and i think there's still parts of the world where they still use leeches medicinally Na- and stuff I, I, I nature has things bullshit. about it that are useful and 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 that i wouldn't i wouldn't say that's that we, why we, yeah, we shouldn't we throw the baby out with them. the bath water but it just, I, I, it just it's not like, reaching its full potential then? on its own it's just Wait, pretty also, much also, a waste. also also garlic is like the universal uh, antibiotic Okay. I thought you were going to say anti-vampire, and I was just like, yeah, I, I got, you got, you got me there, mage. I want to start up a debate with all of you uh, about the word nature, and more specifically the word natural. I want to know where you draw the line between what is natural and what is unnatural. Because when we talk about, like, natural foods, for instance... Like, they always advertise themselves like, oh, this is natural, which means that whatever is not this is not natural. Mm -hmm. But, like, what is added to the so-called unnatural version is, like, it could just be pesticides or, like, you know, something something else. So, they... uh, e- e- even even if you get a non-GMO apple, which GMOs we might get into that bullshit. But but even if you get like you know a pure apple untouched, if you get them today in 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 the year two thousand eighteen, that is not a natural apple. That that is a man-made construction. Yeah. Even it's in its even in its most basic form, we have domesticated apples and pigs and stuff. So even if you like it's get true. a pig and be like, I want to roll around in the dirt with a fucking pig, that's not natural. People don't <laughs> do that. Stop. So you. Oh, contraire, well, I, my friend. I'm just curious. Curious, would you say um, you lean one, more towards less things should be considered natural or more things should be considered natural? Because for me, I feel I like amount. I feel like uh, you know people talk about, for instance, uh, plastics, and they're like, they're like, "Oh, that's man-made," and I'm like, "Well, no, it comes from a plant." Like plastic is originally. I from think a when, plant, when right? people use natural, plastic. obviously know what that. When means. people use but, natural uh, in that sense, they're saying things that don't naturally, like things that don't occur. Without like having to be produced in some way by the, the man. thing, yeah. The thing I mean, about plastics, that... though. Let me say about plastics. Yeah. The things about plastics, though, like if you put them like on the ground, they don't go away and they hurt the environment. So it's not natural in that sense. Like something, um... it, it can't reproduce. It can't continue <laughs> without no. humans. No, but yeah, kinda, I guess. But also, like, um, if there needs to, you have to be careful about what you throw away because you might think, oh, banana peel is natural, and you throw it away. Oh, it, you know, it's not gonna do anything. But that's the thing. If you throw it away on ground that doesn't naturally grow bananas and stuff, like in a, like you know, I don't know, in America, certain certain parts of America, you, you can't grow bananas. It's not really good for the environment because the thing doesn't naturally occur there, so it's not natural for a banana peel to just appear there. So it's hurting the environment as well. Not as much as plastic, though, but, 
You have to be careful about those well, bananas things. Bananas decompose. I mean, li- life finds a way. You know, plants plants will just <laughs> plants will grow in plants would grow in in just fields I was just reading. littered with plastic shrapnel. Yeah, like, like that was plant, the only choice. Plants, we, we we've spoiled them. We've spoiled plants them. Plants will really. learn how to we've eat them plastics soft. one day. That's why we should. Just, there's already in there's fact, already some really, sort of like bacteria we, or something that does. And I was reading another story about like in Chernobyl, there's like fungus that mm-hmm. like break down radioactive material. Yeah. You know? See, yeah, but got a Chernobyl though. I think the problem is the reason reason that the earth hasn't like adapted to our trash yet is we haven't given it enough like we got to train the earth we got to dump as much trash everywhere so that all the plants can learn how to take care of it well you got to think about the how, how recent game these they developments are the long game. i mean I human like civilization would survive at that point and how, how long have plastics even existed like maybe 200 years in the entire lifetime of uh, the I planet earth hey real, okay, real quick question here. real quick nature young. question for you guys what is uh the, what is wrong with weeds why are they worse than not weeds they, it's just because well, they're I, not what we I want. Don't, it's, they're it's, hoggers it's for a, the most part. Yeah, they, they strangle like the growth of other crops, and also well, it's just an aesthetic problem because they look different yeah, from I, the grass. Because like, cause, I, like I, all plant, like all life, strangles out and chokes out other life in order to eke out its own existence. Like, what makes see, a thing I, a weed? That's is strictly nature that it's itself. Not, it's that's not the, the specific position you want. people are arguing for. Strangling wait, wait, out wait, all around you. Is it that, or is it that weeds have really aggressive like? Genes like weeds will overpopulate a area yeah, exactly. and like turn it into not good plants anymore. You know. Yeah, that's the thing. Like weeds, uh, most of the time they're not useful for humans, and they also like they, yeah, they're very aggressive and they kill other plants so they can repopulate. So they're uh, very invasive and stuff. Though on that point, I want to say dandelions can be useful in many ways, and I don't think they should be considered weeds necessarily, though they are a bit aggressive. According to Wikipedia, uh, I, I, a weed I, I, is just a plant considered undesirable in a particular situation. There we go. So it's pretty. There we go. That's I, what I'm saying. I, I I googled invention of plastics to try and get uh, like the date of when plastics were invented, and the first Google result is uh, invention of plastics by man is a crime. All right, I have a very <laughs> whoa. I have a very important uh, suggestion, which is that we all adopt weeds as a new racial slur. And it just applies. Oh, for you. No, for it apl- you. it applies to <laughs> all races. It's just whoever you don't want in the room at the moment is the weeds. I like that. We gotta you pull the what? weeds out of this room. You know, it makes perfect Did sense. You? I fucking like sure. that. Yeah. I, 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 I might use I'm, I might cop a feel on that. I, I might really cop a linguistic oh, yeah, delineating it based weed on weeds. the word weed for something else though. Like there's too many meanings for weed now. Well, the the the, well, the great thing about using weed is that you don't have to use any specific racial slur because it'll be understood. Like let's say you're in a room with your friend, mm. you're at a party, and they're all there's black. a couple there's yeah. a couple of Jews at your party oh, and you want to tell your friend that we need to get rid of the Jews, but you don't want the people around you to know what race of people you think needs to be removed from the party. So you just say we need to pull the weeds and your friend who is also an anti-semite will know exactly what you're <laughs> talking about we've all been about. there or they can oh, yeah. assume that you mean like it's time to pull out some weed and smoke it because that also well, no because you would never say weeds with an s Context if you were talking about smoking here. weed well maybe yeah. they're stupid no one refers Whoa. to a plural of weed it could also be used for not racist attributes as well. It could also be used for that if you wanted to. It could be like you know mm-hmm. if you're if you're if you're in the room with some fucking black person. Oh damn it! <laughs> oh well, good try. Ah, uh, never mind. It's it's a lost cause. What, I mean, what's important about the term weed is that it is complete. Well, like we, it's like George Carlin said. Like people say, like the the earth is dying. Like ah, the earth is dying. But no, the earth is just an inanimate object full of life. <laughs> And what we really mean when we say that is we are making our environment uninhabitable for ourselves. The planet's going to be fine. The people yeah, it's just are a rock. fucked. It's just a hot rock. Indeed, mm-hmm. indeed. Uh, it's dumb when people like personify the earth, be like, the earth cries out in pain. No, like, uh, it's this thing. Of, I hate how people like make it all about something else when they're actually talking selfishly. Like, I'm 100% willing to admit I only care about the earth in context of like human civilization and my own, you know, environment around me and the environment of people who I care about a little bit. Uh, <laughs> a little that's bit. what matters. That's what matters. I don't care if like in 10 billion years we have all ported our civilization to Mars and the earth just explodes. Like I'll be like, well, that's a shame. Uh, too yeah. bad, but I don't actually care at all. I, and the same I thing be, with I weeds. I would be upset if, if, if the Earth just spontaneously was like gone, and and you know we we were alive elsewhere on Mars. I mean, or something. it would be a bummer, I, I, but I get over yeah. it. 
I, but the point sure, is that's not I the most important thing. I the important thing okay, is sure. humans being alive. That's that's what actually matters, and furthering civilization, uh, et cetera, et cetera. That's what actually matters. That's why Ephemeral Rift is a very silly boy. He's a very silly. Uh, I can see uh, him kid. hiding in the uh, the Martian bushes out in the nowhere in a Martian <laughs> loincloth, having a good time. <laughs> Hey, Nate, Tom, yeah. you people might know this. Like, it, mm. is there a way to make Mars green? Is that, like, a thing that can't happen, or will it always be the way it is? Uh, I mean, I I, we, it more atmosphere. You, we don't, we don't know to... how to do it, but we want to. You know, that's well, the whole yeah, idea but, of but, terraforming. But, but, but literally, like, Let's could it. there be a way? You'd have to yeah, introduce, yeah. like, different gases into the atmosphere mm. and do mm. a bunch of guys, other stuff. Guys, guys, mm. speaking about planets, have you heard about a planet that, like, uh, it, can sort of be inhabitable by human life, but only like on a very sliver sort of of it, because it doesn't rotate. So one side is too hot, the other is uh, too too cold. Whoa, that's and there's, dope. And there's like one slip that's just perfect, but it's in constant like twilight. So like the I think the the the, the like it looks kind of like hell because awesome. the, 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 it's Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, it's like because, Punk because, Hazard in one piece. That's one so half is hot, cool. It's like cool. a yeah, punk. Yeah, because, I bet they'll develop that's, their own that's, racial slurs that's my for like the planet, hot ease sure. and the cold ease on opposite sides uh, of the planet. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Is there there be, because there totally would people be people who would go on the dark side of that planet no matter what. So there would totally be a class divide because you know they would ship all of their fucking groveling street urchins to the mm -hmm. dark side and be like, huh, a fucking dark. You just came to light side. You know we go to fucking darkest down here. Get these fucking weeds out of here, kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That would be that would be great. Okay, okay. We've brushed up upon, and what is what will now be the big thing that we argue about is environmentalism and the planet and global warming and Al mm. Gore. Did he invent the uh, internet? Yes or no? <laughs> probably. Yes. yes probably. Yes Who else would be smart enough to invent the internet? Yeah. I don't know anybody. So, 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 so what? Uh, what level of commitment and responsibility do humans have to taking care of the planet? It, do we have any responsibility, or, or is it just all like we should do this for our own sake? Or do, do we way. have do we have anything to give back to the planet? Is is there any sort of moral or virtuous argument that can be made of to we why? should take care of the like, home? Like why? I mean, I like Earth. It's good. If we have to live here forever, we should take care of it. Um, yep. but, like, uh, the Earth is gonna die one way or another, like everything else. Um, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> toss it in the garbage. <laughs> I, I think it's very important. Uh, we're not gonna be ported to Mars, our whole civilization, for, for a very long time if we, if we make that shit happen. So, uh, I would say it's pretty important that we take care of the Earth. I'm actually pretty pro-environmentalism, but mm -hmm. at the same time, you have to consider... The, uh, it is true that you don't want your environmentalism okay. to completely crush your your you know economic okay, development. Okay, show of here. hands, who so. here will always walk all the way to the trash can to throw something away? Me, me. I raise his, me. Raise his paw. I always do. I I pocket my trash and and Nate. I wait for uh, until I find a trash. Oh wait, can. you mean as opposed to just like throwing it on the ground? Yeah. Me. Oh, I'm I mean, never I just leave that. it all never over my, my desk, life. and then I thought you were talking it, about it, it makes its sweet. way to the trash eventually. Yeah, did I you? I think you were talking about making sweet, like long-range dunks of my no, trash no, 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 across no. the room. I'm saying I'm totally doing that. <laughs> I'm saying when you're out, if you're out somewhere and you've got trash, and there's not a trash can anywhere around, well, you carry that shit around until you find a trash yes. can. Yes, yeah. without Absolutely. question. Without question. Okay. Anyone who doesn't is a fucking asshole. Okay, yeah, so every, everyone in here is a real good boy. What about cigarette butts? Would you throw the? I mean, I don't know if anybody. Other than the fact that you even have to consider that cigarette butts don't count in the same category already makes you a bad person right off the bat. <laughs> I'm just what asking, is different? I'm just I, well, asking how all of you feel, Nate or Ben. Would you toss cigarette butts <laughs> on the ground? I would toss a cigarette butt like on a sidewalk. I would toss okay. it in like an urban. Literally area. why? At least Literally stomp why? Stomp on it because I. Yeah, I, yeah, I would stomp nothing, on it. There's nothing. How does more that, that help? I hate. I, do, I just hate it when people throw down like like lit cigarettes on the ground and they why? don't stomp it out. Fucking fire on the sidewalk. You cater no so mind. much to you degenerate piece of shit smokers. You should all fucking die. I have no patience fucking, for any of you. Well, don't, well, don't our straight our edge boys, <laughs> straight <laughs> edge brothers, Nate, right, straight edge brothers. Right. <laughs> Oh, oh, wrong. I, hate, I deserve to just throw my fucking cigarette butts on the ground like a fucking asshole. Why? I, I, Why I have, have a special it? license to litter. I have a special license. It's okay if I litter. Because it's, it's like I'm kind saying, of in small. like urban areas, like those those streets get swept. There are sweet streepers that sweep up detritus on the street. So why not so, just throw so it in the street? Me, if if I'm a vapor, if if I finish my vape, I can just smash it on the fucking ground <laughs> and and moonwalk away. Like that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna get swept up. Who gives a shit? 
If you can because you're making the world worse for everyone. I'm not way. because the street sweepers are coming whether I do that or not. But, but in the meantime, people problem. are going to step on these fucking butts and be like, "Ew, gross." Oh and you're no! Their oh, who the fuck worse. would even notice? Who? Me every I day. Do. I walk and I see in, this in the street. If it's in the street, created, Ben, it it just makes it dirty. It just makes it less pleasant. Just makes it yeah. less aesthetically just don't do it. pleasant. It's literally littering, and it's not okay. Dirt not yeah, is would, dirt is just is purely aesthetic. It's not even real. Mm. I would prefer people it, wouldn't litter. I hate seeing litter all over. Like fucking just just uh, just like just carry it a little bit or just, just throw it into a bin. I it's hate not litter hard. so much. Really it's not it's hard. funny because the reason I asked that question about the cigarette butts is that mm -hmm. I will always go out of my way to throw a cigarette butt in a trash can unless there isn't a trash can, but I ain't not carrying it around because that shit will make my pockets stink. And, and see, that is your problem. Fucking... That is your problem. Oh, yeah, sure. but... Advise not smoking. That'd be my suggestion. Well, I, I don't smoke anywhere anyway, but... Uh... Well, fantastic. Have a little plastic <laughs> Well, you don't, you don't smoke that pocket. particular drug. No, I don't smoke tobacco Digi. cigarettes anymore. Digi, Digi, just, Regularly. Just, have a just have a little plastic bag <laughs> ready in your pocket for cigarette buds. Uh, that's like a huge ask. That's a kind of oh, a pain in the God. ass. Oh God! What a yeah. what a we wouldn't want to make this Heaven forbid! I I, ta I take responsibility into my own okay, hands and, and I, I make my, like, and forge but, my life to be this way. One second ago, I was like, <laughs> "Fuck the earth," and you were all like, "Okay," and now I'm like, "I threw cigarette butts on the ground when I can't find a trash can," and everyone's like, "Oh, Hitler!" Like, <laughs> up, dude. No, you guys no. are a fucking I'm one hundred percent consistent. The earth has no long term significance. But while it's our environment, it matters incredibly so. I'm this just, is our shit. Let's not fuck it a, up. Let's a not cigarette butt up. on the sidewalk is not, like, detrimental Man, the to the earth in any way other than we've decided that that's bugs. unacceptable. If, if, if you say you don't vote and everyone says they don't vote, then no one votes. That's exactly. I mean, that's the same. Yeah, that's right. Um, I don't good. care. I think you got Donald on the sidewalk Trump are aesthetic. Been. You so are the I Trump. think they're aesthetically pleasing. Well, What are you going to do now? I'm gonna I, complain. I, I, you're okay, wrong. Okay. I, I, I will. Okay, okay, Ben, you are wrong, but I will say that I do like this is this is a vice of mine. But but even though like this is like a this is like a porn fantasy. This is like a degradation mm. fantasy. I like dirty cities. They're yeah. pretty pleasing to look at. If I if I see like like a city, a grungy looking city in, in a cartoon or a video game, yeah. then I'll be God like, forbid. yeah. <laughs> if I see like, a sewer open, like some steam coming out, and I slip on a puddle of dirty fucking muck and cum, then I'll be like, yes, this is what I live for. I like to see the smoke scared side. I want to see smoke fucking fill the skies. Okay, I want to be there here, no nice cloud, no sun. That's what I want. I want to be in factories everywhere. And here's a good rule of thumb to operate yourself by in the these urban environments if with whatever you're doing if Rorschach walked by and saw you doing what you're thinking of doing would he beat you to death <laughs> if the answer is yes then don't do it and that's exactly what throwing I'm, a cigarette on the butt on the who, side of the road would be using using Rorschach as your moral compass yes that's just, right. think, about <laughs> it. think about that for a second yeah that's right he did nothing wrong. He did okay. nothing wrong. Okay, good. I have no idea. Are you who talking that is. shit on Rorschach right now? He's a fucking psycho, dude. What? Like, yeah, he's a fucking, fucking was psycho right murderer. In everything he did. It's he true. Was 100 he was. Right. He was the best guy. I, I, he was uh, the best guy. Uh, an, 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 another vice of mine. I, uh -huh. Sometimes, like, like you know, I, I'll say, like, you know, I want amusement parkification. I, I, I want all that. By the way, hashtag amusement parkification for nature. <laughs> uh, uh, that, like, I, like. Occasionally, I'll still be like, oh, I'll like a read a creepy pasta, and there'll be like an evil clown man in the forest, and I'll be like, why don't we just get rid of forests? Why don't we just like have, why don't we just make oxygen so bad and just then get rid of Then we'll go to the sewers, my no Carbon forest. dioxide. That's what I, dioxide. yeah, but if we just make, you know, like tanks of oxygen and just like make them respawn a lot somehow, <laughs> there would be no creepy pasta. Why don't we just creepy pasta like, have just nowhere said. to go. Those clowns will move to the sewers, duh. Oh no. Yeah, we already have now they're closer to me. I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we already have CO2 spawners. They're called trees. We might as well just use them. They're, yeah, they're working we just gotta, fine. We need forests you know. so we can exile freaks. Like, where are we going to send them? What if we could have... What if we had natural concentration camps, but they were in the forest, and, we, and instead of, like, killing them, it could just be like, just, just, okay, go like, back no, to no, nature now. You are, you are, you are a tribe that, now. Like, okay, no, no, you, Indian I, reservation I, is or something? Yeah, like, here's, oh. here's a solution. Oh, and sell uh -huh. lights in the forest so it's not dark and creepy. That's a good idea. I, I have yeah. no problem with that. Yeah. 
But look, M- Manchi, we need. I, just, roads, I want lights. string lights just on all the trees in America. That's just what like, I want. I want, I want it, it Christmas be... lights to line the top of forests. Oh, we'll... I want Christmas lights in jungles. That's what I Here's want. Here's how we're gonna put them up. We're just gonna like. We're just gonna have like a bunch of fucking kids like with string lights just like run around the forest and just like run between no. trees. And so we can get lights around. on that's them not, and get rid of kids at, at the all. same time. Two problems solved at the same time. I like it. Here's what we go. We get the United States Air Force to get a like a giant net full of Christmas trees oh, and just yeah. air raid forests and just jump a <laughs> well, fuck we, ton we wanna, of lights over the top of them. Yeah, we want to utilize idea. the native population. I've got a two word solution for this. T-shirt mm-hmm. cannons. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. <laughs> That's how we modernize T-shirt exactly. cannons. Exactly. That's how we're going to get them. Um, we're, good. A fuck, fucking, okay, okay, okay. I love nature, and I like it. There we go. That was my point. I didn't, I didn't actually have a point. All right. Well, this podcast is winding down, I think. Uh, it feels that way. <laughs> questions. I wanted to tell a story about trees, but it's kind of boring okay. after all that all that discussion. Do it. So I'm gonna do Can it. you compress it into two sentences? No. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> because like well, I, I really love nature and especially love trees when I was a little kid I loved trees so much that like if I accidentally like broke a branch or, or, or like t- took some leaves from it I would hmm. out loud say I'm sorry tree and I would give it a hug <laughs> and I would make my friends do it and they would do it too at least around me <laughs> Oh, I, I feel so sad whenever I step on a snail. It, I have, oh, like, fucking a oh, no. I, gross. I once, gross. I, once, I once felt guilty for, like, a week because I had, like, a, I, I had a snail and, like, it, and I went on a bus and I was holding the snail and, and it fell out of my you hands. And, and then I, I actually raised snails as pets. But uh, that's Whoa. beside the point. Uh, at this point in time of the story... It fell out of my hands, and some guy stepped on the snail, <gasps> and oh I felt God. so bad because, like, if I hadn't brought that snail with me, it would still be alive. And I just, I just cried. Oh, I was a little kid, and I cried. Draw a fan art of Mage with snails. I want that. I, want <laughs> I that love to be snails. I had, I had them as pets, and like, I, f- I fed them a little bit of carrot, and they freaking loved the carrot, and it was really cute. Wait. They- how big are the snails you have? Small, very small. They're garden snails, basically. How, how they can eat carrots? Well, yeah, they they they, they gnaw them a little bit. It was adorable. They just just a little grazing. <laughs> they gnaw. Did you ever okay. race them? What? Did you ever race the snails? Race. Yeah, race, you know, make them oh, run, speed yeah, against yeah, each when, other. When yeah, when I was a kid, yeah, that's what we used to do with, with, with other <laughs> yeah. kids. Like, we would pick our snails and we had, like, little snail races, yeah. Just like an Undertale, yes! Was there a big, was there a big snail culture in Lithuania? <laughs> <laughs> Did every kid have their own decked-out, personalized snail? Yeah, they were, they were like were the Pokemon of Lithuania. They you would like, put them yeah, in the yeah. arena. Yes. So the thing is, like, the with, the, with the snails, they, they came in uh, very many different colors and stuff, so I, my favorites were the pink ones. Uh, they Dude, still sick. are. What? Snails are way more diverse where you come from. Snail, snails snail are just shells. icky, gross, uh, uh, sorry, goo things I, should, I come I should, from. I, should, I, should I still like snail them, shells. But... Oh, the shells, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, oh, like, okay. Around around Boston, there were some really sweet, like, spiral shell snails crawling yeah. around people's gardens and stuff. Around here in Georgia, all we God, got are slugs, I... and I hate them. Oh, They're terrible. really you boring, as well as being gross. They're just long also... and thin. They look like worms, but they don't move. Speaking of worms, I also had worms as pets at some point. <laughs> uh, I really like is... nature. Th- oh, this is oh. a good segue. This is this is not extending the topic, viewers. This this is a real thing I wanted to do. This was on my note. I have a big thing I want to say: animals, animals in okay, nature. Okay, let me quickly. Let I me love. Say- Sure, about sure. grasshoppers, uh, another thing I used to do oh, in my okay. youth. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if they're called crickets or grasshoppers. They were tiny, the small ones, the small colorful ones, whichever those ones were. Uh, grasshoppers. So, like, yeah. So crickets there used to be like. Okay. <laughs> so there used to be this uh, small field by, by my uh, neighborhood somewhere, and it had like super tall grass, like Pokemon tall grass. And um, I was I, I would sometimes go there during the evenings when I had nothing to do during the summer, and there were like uh, grasshoppers and stuff, and I would capture them. But you know, like I wouldn't like capture capture them with both of my hands. What I would do, I would like bend over, uh, lean over, extend my finger to the grasshopper, and it, usually it would like hop away. But after like two or three times. 
sometimes the grasshopper would just climb onto my finger on its own. <laughs> and I'd be like, hello, little friend. And then I would stare at it and it just had fun with it. And once I'm done, I would like uh, let, let it let it hop away. And fucking that was rip fun. off its limbs one by one. No. Yeah. yeah. No. So you can feel powerful for once in your life. Stabbing <laughs> fucking I once, eyes. I once, I once found feel like a grasshopper that was like black and red and was fucking edgy and I loved it and I named it. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, later on, I learned that I, they only live through in the summer and I was really sad the next year. I was like, I miss my friend. I, I, I wish I had a fucking edgy grasshopper. I wish I had like an edgy bug that was my companion. I would take him on adventures. That's there, You, you lived far more than I have. There isn't that is there. That's too what? bad. There should be say? an edgy bug in Pokemon. Uh, oh. Scizor. Uh, yeah. Scizor's kind of edgy. Not edgy enough, though. He's a good um, boy. I, um, I love um, edgy things. Edgy, edgy things are the only thing that I fucking live for. That's why I like the trolls in Homesick, because they're fucking edgy and stupid, and they're violent, and I like it. What about it's that fucking dope. purple okay. steel bug Pokemon? Okay, hold on. Hold on. F -f Pokemon, not real. Here's what are real. Animals. <laughs> yeah. I take Digi. I take Umbridge with your hatred of animals. Animals are fucking great. They are incredible. They are a net positive. One of the time, uh, bugs don't count, because fuck bugs. But, but, but big animals, real big mammals and fish and shit, I fucking love. You know why? Because they're always terrifying. <laughs> there is not a single animal that does not make me shit myself. I walk downstairs, I see Chihuahua fucking dead. I'm gonna say you see a bear slightly less scared, but still extremely scared. Animals pigeons? are fucking beasts of the land. They are beasts and they are terrifying. And the and, and animals come like like animals are like or humans are animals. We come from this land of beasts and disgusting, awful, scary, like like Cthulhu type monsters that are snails and dogs. You know we what? come from, the, from that barbaric age and we have conquered. We animals have conquered and we become civilized and cultured and incredible. And now we now we control the beast of the land. Now we control the the the, the the weird, awful, uh, uh, archaic, uh, beast land, and we are the masters of society. We have done it. We have conquered animals, and that's what's beautiful. Yeah. Animals. Whenever I walk out and see a snail, I think, "Wow, we've done it. We, humans have gone so far. We we've escaped the clutches of nature, and we have done Preach. it." Preach! I hate animals. Fucking we, uh, you know, it's fair, to, it's fair to remember. It's fair to remember that uh, we My have no formalized contract. Don't like animals. So. Fair enough. Animals are great. We have You're no contract with the you. animals, and I we could take them or leave fucking... them. I've never. Oh my liked god! Animals. Shut the fuck up, everyone. <laughs> 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 Look, we have no. Big member lists are good. Nate, you need to, shut up, Nate. You need to get closer to your microphone. You're not like quite overpoweringly loud enough. Am I? Am I? Am I close to the microphone now? Are you, are you hearing me, everybody? Can Can you hear what I'm saying right now? Uh, Nate, stop! Stop! Stop. We have made no accord with the beasts of the field, and so it's easy to just forget that they could just murder us at any time. They do not respect us. Like, because we are on dogs so much, dogs have been bred to be, like, weak cowards. But, like, uh, you know, not the fucking a pigeon. A pigeon could just fucking claw your eyes out one Actually, day. It doesn't give a shit. Nate, it's I interesting you mentioned species. dogs, because I was reading about dogs, and apparently there's, like, mm -hmm. the reason we were able to domesticate dogs is there's actually mm. some sort of, like... Uh, like mental condition or like genetic disposition the that, that, yeah. that makes you like be friends with everybody and like people can get that too but like that's the thing we bred in dogs and that's why dogs are so friendly is because we gave them all like mental condition what, what I heard was that we that's continually dope. bred like uh, so neoteny is the trait that is like when you display like baby like traits and so, like, dogs' propensity for, like, cuddling and just, like, being friends with everybody very much comes from when they're babies and they just, like, don't know any better. And so, like, with, with dog breeding, we just continually bred, like, the friendliest of the friendliest dogs to, like, just make them the most, you know, you know, domesticated. And so they just did that forever. And now just, like, all the dogs, all the, you know, domestic dogs just, like, and have this trait of playing. And it's great. Who doesn't great. like dogs? I don't I like dogs. Like the dog. only dog oh, I've yeah. had ex prolonged experience with was one of my ex-girlfriend's dogs that just shit on the floor mm. constantly and I wanted to kill it. Well, that's, that's the worst. Not, that's there's, not there's the dog's fault. It's your owner's fault. No. This is all right, like, all right, all right, all right, right, right. Before we go down a dog hole, I just want to say contingency <laughs> I'm plans. going down the dog hole. Every contingency day, plan dude. for pigeons is uh -huh. Pepto Bismol. I think doesn't that make their How's stomachs that? explode? I had pigeons as pets. Please do not talk about this. How, how do you um, get the Pepto Bismol in their stomachs, though? I've they'll heard that when people it. throw no, rice at weddings, that birds eat the rice or am I and thinking, it expands no, I'm in their stomach seagulls. and kills them. I'm thinking of seagulls that if you give them Pepto Bismol, they'll like explode. I still don't know how you get oh, it down rat, there. Rats throat. are like that. Like no. if rats drink soda, it can kill them Stop. because they can't no. burn. No, no animal Stop. cruelty, please. No. 
Uh, no one's actually doing this. Nate, Nate, Nate. These Nate. are just contingencies I, I, for if a pigeon comes at my fucking eyes, like Nate was saying. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying I, I have ways to beat Nate. If a pigeon, if a pigeon ever puts me in a self-defense situation, you know, really <laughs> starts to fuck with me, then I, I will. will have I will these defend things. myself. I will. De- I legally defend myself. I, I'm, I'm not saying that, that, that like like animals are pacified. That's what I like about animals is that yeah. they're not pacified and they're fucking dangerous and violent. Sure. But we as humans have the tools and knowledge to like like you know sure like if a pigeon just like I was just walking down the street a pigeon could like get a claw in but I have a big fist. I have yeah. I have a yeah. fist and I and also I could have a gun if I wanted to. I could carry like a spear. The problem or the problem is that we let our defenses pigeon. down and Pigeons they could theoretically claw out an eye. Are stupid good boys. They would not hurt you. Okay, maybe well, like a hawk. I, I'm, I'm, you know, sure, I'm sure. I'm sure they wouldn't. I, I'm, I'm just saying, animals are dangerous, and again, they are beasts. That's why I like about animals is that see, they are beasts. See, I got they're monsters. They're modern monsters. Real quick, listen, listen. Contingency yeah. plan number two: hmm. you got a hawk, get a Glock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, but li- listen. Like, That's animals dead. aren't unpredictable forces of nature or anything. They usually give oh. signs if they're aggressive or they're gonna attack or something. Okay. Well, telegraph. Just Jeez. like a boss yeah. in Dark Souls. Just Basically. like in Dark Souls. Yeah. So, <laughs> they you, telegraph so their you're attacks. not gonna like. <laughs> get surprised by an animal. My, you just have to watch biggest, for signs. My biggest criticisms of, wi- of of animals is that they have too long of wind ups before their attacks. It makes, <laughs> it, it makes fighting them boring and uninteresting. It's not. It's not good. They need to work I, on that. I, 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 I'm, I'm not saying that, that like Mage, I'm not saying that animals will attack me. I'm just saying that like we have the power to do that, and that makes that makes it feel me more a little bit more confident, like going out and like touching animals, because like I know that I could kill them if I wanted to. I don't want to. I don't want to kill animals. I quite hey, like. Hey, okay, them. real question. I, I, I just know that I could. It makes me feel safer. Real question: uh, If you were attacked by a vicious, let's just say pit bull, do you think you could beat it? Do you think you'd live? Really? I think I, think I would. No, I get fucking I, murdered. I, I, I think it would be really hard. I would. I think it would get be really hard. I think, but like, like when humans, like if you're a cornered human, yeah. you can kill most things. H- humans, not, like, like, yeah. like, 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 like they have that badge in Paper Mario where if you get below five health, your your like attack expands. Right. That's what all humans have intrinsically. You can do crazy shit when you're about to die. I I've often wondered if a pit bull bit me on the arm or something, and I just all I could do is like try to punch it in the eye or maybe gouge out its eyes or something. I, I would have. I feel like way. if the dog think, was even think, a bit smaller than you, that you could probably beat it. Yeah. Unless yeah. it got the drop on you and, like, tore your throat out or something. Unless I'd, it fucking teleports behind me and unsheathes the dog. <laughs> I feel like we're all under, under, underestimating the dog. Uh-huh. I feel like there's a chance it's going to just fucking take your arm off if it bites your arm, but I also feel yeah, like if you maybe. punch it in the face enough there's times, no you could knock it out. That's the question. That's the question. You'll probably I, lose that arm, though. I definitely think, um, um, like, like the bigger a dog gets, obviously, the less your chances are. But like a pit bull, like, sure, like it's dangerous. I don't. Th- yeah. like, I think. I think we'll both be at low HP by the end of it. But I yeah. think. I think. I think it, any human could overrun unless like a baby. I don't if, know, if dude. Baby, there was there was a pit bull that like started attacking mm-hmm. kids in my old neighborhood, and I remember. Yeah, because yeah. they're kids. Yeah. No, no, no. But wait, wait, the, wait. Okay. The story's not over yet. And and mm-hmm. the, the, it became like this like legend among the cops. The, the cops had to come out and fucking like at, like put it down and they shot yeah. at the dog and the bullets bounced off its skull. What, what the fuck? What? Yeah, dude. What Holy the shit. Did they take it down or what? They eventually got, but like, I mean, you shoot at other places. It's not as like. They had to call in fucking Cloud Strife to do Omni Slap yeah. to dude. finally finish this. <laughs> it was, what the fuck? <laughs> um, unbelievable. Yeah, it was fucking insane, yeah. dude. That's dude, this uh, someone edit, please, like this dog as Sephiroth in the final <laughs> confrontation between Cloud and Sephiroth <laughs> at the end of this. Also, while you're, I, while you're at that, edit just like find a gallery of guys who've been mauled by bears and just edit all their photos to have the phrase should have rolled on them. <laughs> <laughs> should have rolled, man. Should have rolled. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I agree with you, Tom, but I think that's, like, all skulls. Like, like humans can, like, survive headshots to the face, like, like under weird precarious... They don't bounce off, like, though. Like, 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 bullets bullets are right. specifically designed to blow up your skull. That's, like, why they were made. Well, mm. no, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, under extremely low circumstances, like, some, like, like, like there have been people who have survived headshots. Sure, of course. Because of, like, the specific well, you know, weird way that like, it happened. People, so people will, like... Like, what, if, what happened to the pit bull could happen to a human. If, if people kill themselves, they generally shoot, you know, like, inside the mouth up so that they you know, really or fuck the temple, themselves up. And that's the weakest point of your skull. What is the temple? Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. That's what I've heard. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I've thought a lot about this, whether it. it's best to go with the inside the mouth or the temple approach. The like, imagine the mouth. how- Inside the mouth, Inside the mouth obviously. What's gonna be grosser? But, but what's gonna be grosser, though? Because I want to be as least gross as possible. I've actually considered well, then, the whole then shooting yourself in the heart thing. Then don't use the gun. No. Then, that's you, the gross I don't want to shoot yourself. myself in the heart, because I'll probably feel it. I don't want to feel that's it. That's what I was- like, You you'll brain be yourself, like a minute or something. I'm pretty yeah. sure you'd, man. I think about I think about what it would feel like to get shot in the head all the time. Oh, me too. I was doing that yesterday a bunch. I, I do, was yeah, for being sick all the time. And I'm I like, think I'm about this like, more yeah, often than you would. But there'd be a them. moment there where you would feel it happening. Yeah, and it'd be like, oh my god. I'm just imagining, dude, like, I, I was I was really fuck? thinking about this. It was like time oh, is like slowed down, and you like feel each individual piece of like the the shotgun blast like no, the worst, invading your brain from inside your I, mouth, and you yeah, feel I like would up want, your skull. I don't think, I, I'd I think brain about myself. like what does it feel like to have one's brain violently like destroyed yeah. all the time? What the fuck is happening? I just want to say this is what nature leads to ultimately. Too much nature leads to this kind of <laughs> leads so to don't suicide. Do it. That's exactly overexposure exactly. suicide. Hey, if you, guaranteed if you hang out, suicide. If you hang out around trees enough, you're gonna start thinking. about about which one will hold the best rope the best you yeah. know like that's true. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I, I believe that's why Greenland people kill has... themselves in the yeah in Aokigahara and in Greenland like they're they're always yeah, looking like, for trees fucking it's too forest everyone in Greenland spends too much time in nature and not enough of civilization so they have the highest suicide rate in the fucking yeah. world last time i checked and so yeah, yeah don't do it don't do it. We need urban sprawl. We need hip hop blasting from every window. We need yeah. only hip hop. That's only the hip-hop. most civilization you can get. <laughs> the civilization scale, hip hop is one hundred percent. Hip hop is exactly. peak exactly. civilization, clearly. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I, that's, I, yeah, I, I, it's true. I, I, yep. I was I was hoping that Digi would be like explain why he doesn't like animals, but I guess. Oh, do you want that? Is, Nobody has. Yeah, okay, go for it. Go Unless for you it. asked while I was on the to- like I went to pee. For well, a great. while earlier. <laughs> no, he didn't. Dope. He didn't. Oh, uh, anyway. Uh, we we'll have discussions. Well, I mean, I don't like animals because they're annoying and mm-hmm. to, uh, they can't talk. Like, yeah. they're fucking boring. Like, they can't be negotiated okay, with. They, uh, pretty animals? much everything I value about humans is the ability to have conversations with them. Like, mm. that is the it's main retarded. thing that, uh, that other humans can give me other than, like, physical contact. And I don't think I would want physical contact with a person that I could not, like... Com- communicate with it doesn't have to necessarily be verbally it could be in text form but like if I can't communicate with somebody I'm not gonna want to like hang out with them and have you know and touch them or anything I animals, animals just in animals just want things and they have no sense yeah. of moral obligation yeah uh, towards exactly you. like my cat fucking my you know when I lived back at home we had a cat mm-hmm. Ben you lived in the same house as this cat she fucking just at any time of night if she wants something she will come make you do it she'll wake you up she'll meow at your door all night until you wake up and come do something for her because she doesn't care about you and you, yeah. like she do, do, can't comprehend your needs she can't make compromises but, because she but cannot train fathom your fucking pet then uh, uh, yeah i mean yeah but, but, uh, what, what about why, why should you sign up why should you sign up for a relationship that is completely one-sided? That you are expected to provide for this other animal, when, and this other animal is not expected you're, to do anything you're, for you're, you. Well, and true, I get that you might true. like it. I get that you might like what they do. It just irks me that like what they're doing is just what they want to do. And if that happens to please you, then so it goes. But like but they're that, not doing anything for your sake. What, whereas you're doing, you're providing for all le- of their needs. That that legendary dog who came to visit his master in Japan every fucking yeah. day, How even after. He died, Hachiko. Yeah, like the the most legendary dog who ever vi- lived. I visited his statue. He's a fucking god. Whoa. But how do you account? How do you account for the? For he this just shit? wanted his master. That's like saying obeying. Uh, well, okay, you you're, you seem to be putting like like thought and like responsibility over just like natural inclination. Uh, like, like that makes it like more moral. Like you are I'm, more. I'm valuable. saying that I can see why that's like good. Like if a dog is naturally uh-huh. inclined to love you and you want love, like I mm-hmm. get why that's appealing. It just bugs me that there's mm-hmm. no that. The, it just bugs me that the relationship is so one sided. But I would know? argue that I, every human only does what it wants to do. Yeah, but I, I, we I can guilt guys, humans. <laughs> that's that's true. That's I, true. I think you guys are thinking about this all wrong. 
animals mm. are not humans. They're not meant like that. Mm-hmm. Their their function is not to have ideas. Mm-hmm. Their function is to be aesthetic and provide mm. sometimes practical benefit to humans. You know, like like oxes or uh, dogs yeah. or some stuff. Those are both aesthetic and provide like practical application. With a mm. dog, you can train to fucking kill things. You know, for if we're back in in early in early times, you can mm-hmm. train to kill things. That's a practical benefit of it. But the main thing for me is aesthetic. I just like seeing again beasts. I like seeing dangerous monsters roam about and and do their living. It's it's terrifying and it fills me with, with like like a gladiator lust for either <laughs> killing it or making it kill things for me. That's what I want from my animals. I I, 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 I I agree that animals are not like you know they're not conversationalists, but that's not what they're meant no, to do. No, don't get me wrong. I, 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 I'm not classifying them as humans. I understand yeah. the appeal of animals. Like I get why other people like animals. It's just that nothing they have to offer really does anything for me because all I like to do is smoke weed and have long conversations and make videos and fuck and animals can't do any of those things. All uh, whatever they well, do. Well, well, the last well, one. You can't. You know, not legally. <laughs> <laughs> in, most, in most states, I should say. Um, they just anyway. can't consent. Is all. Did we want to talk more well, about debatable. nature? Or do we want to move into questions? Because I got some uh, questions pulled aside. I'm, well, I'm well, feeling well, pretty well, good. Okay. But sure. anyone, anyone want to make any closing statements here? Anyone got any final I words? Love on this hashtag nature. amusement parkification. Sorry, say nature. that again. Okay, never mind. It's fine. No one say anything <laughs> ever again. Yes. Uh, Mozilla Fennekin asks, "What is now? The... Hang on, did you? Is this coming from the legendary patron lounge? Oh where my you can... god! If you patron anything to the PCP, <laughs> I think or dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, you get into the pay, one dollar, you get patron lounge, <laughs> and that's where we get all our fucking questions from um, because it's easy and cool. Yeah. Mozilla Fennekin asked, "What's the most you're willing to spend on a single meal?" Hmm. $20. Uh, tw- tw- $20 unless it's like an occasion. If it's like a festivity or a holiday, then I'll be th- then it'll probably be like 50 or 60. Is, if, I, if, 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 if I want a flip, it can Munchie, be Munchie, is that high. for just you or are you paying for somebody else? That's what so, I was going to ask. Does yeah, it, I was going to ask mm. the same thing. Well, you, you know what, you're right. You, usually what I am flipping it is with someone let's else. Say, so I, let's I say, everybody, I, what's the most you're willing to spend on a meal, both for your, give me both for yourself and for, uh, you know, a group? If I was like treating a party... And it was like a special occasion. I would probably spring for like up to maybe like a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars if it was like a real big. If it was like a you know yeah. an event. I, I, I'm, I'm with Ben. I'm with Ben. Yeah. Uh, if it was yeah, just I, I for me, I mean, same. I would only pay more than like fifteen dollars, and that's high. Mm-hmm. Like I would like to pay five dollars for a meal for myself at any given time. But if it was mm-hmm. if I was out and being socially pressured and everyone else was doing it, I might be convinced to spend maybe up to like twenty. The, yeah, the absolute most I could spend for myself is twenty dollars. I'm that's I'm I'm limit. with Ben. I would I would go twenty dollars is the absolute max. I want to stay around five, ideally. Yeah. Um, if I'm only social pressure yeah. can compel me higher. If if I was gonna like <laughs> spend money like for me and like a significant other or something, I have spent like a hundred and fifty dollars before, but I was not aware that it was going to happen, and I was very disgusted by it, <laughs> and I made a point to say this is never happening again. Um, I, I I think like I get it, if it's an occasion if I'm if it's an if it's like Christmas but I'm the only person left alive because they all were too weak to to see me through uh, then I could probably go like fifty dollars right. if, if I really wanted to make a big deal all right Mage what what what's your answer for this well it's basically the same as you guys I, I'd say similar did you you're the only one dish. besides maybe well, Nate I, who makes significant yeah, amount of money I so think, you're about to be like I'm gonna go like four not, figures deep on this shit it's not just <laughs> it's not just about how much I make but that I regularly spend money on food like that's where a lot of you know the money I do spend goes uh, mm-hmm. but I want to know because I know Nate's thrown down pretty fucking hard on some meals because he and yeah, I went we to went a restaurant fancy where, restaurants. where yeah. I spent like $75 and you spent something I, close yeah. to that Dis- more than disgusting that. Uh, you know what i found i i definitely uh there have been times more more recently when i'll go to like a really nice restaurant that i've like never done in my life before like a year ago uh and those are pretty expensive sometimes th- th- that's pretty rare but what i've really found is just um uh, that my like sort of base level amount i'm willing to pay for a meal has just gone way up and like i just oh, yeah. don't really care anymore because i've just mm-hmm. I, it's I, like 
for yeah, me, ahead, it's kind of just like, what do I want to eat? You know, like yeah, if yeah. I well, if sure. if I want to have a fancy dinner with my girlfriend or my fiance, mm-hmm. you know, we're just gonna go out and like it's gonna be whatever it costs. Like for Valentine's Day, we mm-hmm. went out to a place next to my house. It's one hundred fifty dollars total. Yeah. It was great. I fucking you know? went for, to Burger King for Valentine's, and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you let make me laugh, you well, poor Well, I tell people. you, like when you <laughs> when you actually do, I mean, like I've I'm very much a stickler. I, I always have been. Like I used to be real cheap about going out to eat, and that's why I like mm-hmm. exclusively ate fast food for a real long time. And mm-hmm. then basically, it's just if you can afford it and you're willing to spend the money, it's like food does kind of follow like a rule of the more you pay the better it tastes like you see my yeah. my perspective it's fairly straightforward most of the time like that meal i had that was 150 dollars like granted in terms of portions and everything no it was not an, at all worth it like if you're talking about how much is it worth to get full tonight not worth it but the food was like mm. i literally had never tasted something that tasted the way it tasted you know and like for me it's just that sheer uniqueness of experience makes it worth having paid for at least once you know obviously i'm not going to go spend 150 dollars on food every night but um you know it's nice to get to yeah. experience like this flavor palette that can't really be explored by anyone less than a talented chef you know Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, I, when I went to Jack Ruby's Steakhouse or whatever, the, the precinct is like the best restaurant in Cincinnati. Like, I never imagined a steak could taste as good as what they made there, and they fucking did it. They they did it. I didn't even know that was a real thing. But anyway, sorry, Tom. I'm um, I'm just I don't know. Mm. Paying for food is something that I try not to do ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just I mean, I like food, but like the experience of eating food is is ephemeral. You know, it's fleeting. Yeah, yeah. And like once you've done it, it's over. And so like the fact that I invested money in it and now the money is gone. Well, Ben, and the experience of, was never going to last anyway. There's a lot of studies it. that say that say that people ultimately find themselves more happy with purchases they made for experiences rather than possessions. Because when mm-hmm. you have a possession mm-hmm. around, you'll constantly look at it and judge it again. Like I hate most of the mm-hmm. crap I own in my room. Like all the shit that's on, in my backdrops for all my videos and shit. Because a lot of this is just DVDs that I'll look at and I'll be like, I spent like a hundred dollars on that box set, and a I've Useless. never watched yeah. it, and b like, you know, I don't even really like the show that much anymore. Because like, mm-hmm. you know, it just sits around reminding me of how much money I spent on it and how if I had that money back, I could be doing something different right now. But if you just mm-hmm. go mm-hmm. say to again a fancy restaurant and you have a great time, all you'll remember about that for the rest of your life is I went to a fancy restaurant and I had a great time. You know, like yeah. I'll never yeah. forget me and Nate going to that restaurant because I'd never been to any place like that before and like. Yep. We were fucking getting waited on by like, like wine and dine. The guy coming up pouring our fucking <laughs> water for us and shit, and we're like, yeah, you know. It was sick. We're going sick. steak how, 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 how dope was that scared Italian at Anime Expo? Did you and Nate? How dope was that scared Italian who would like give us orange juice? Oh, that guy. <laughs> it was, it was yeah. amazing. It was the best. He, he was incredible. He was incredible. He was my favorite person. I, I like I, nice food. I just, mm-hmm. I just wish I could afford it more often. Well, but most of it. Just, Quickly mm-hmm, though, the mm-hmm. Burger King has like really awesome milkshakes. The one that's <laughs> sure. So it it was not a bad deal. I I, I quite liked it. By and the we way, got, mo- like, mo- because we had to wait a little bit, we got like big milkshakes. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> nice. Mo- most of what I day. actually eat is cans of dark red kidney beans, uh, like boxes of salad, protein powder, and then like chicken boxes breast and broccoli. Of salad. Yeah, what they've does got that they've mean? got these like plastic containers. Of yeah. salad at the oh, at the Kroger. No, I'll just no. go buy that. It's got a big fucking thing of spinach. I'll just like munch on that for two days. All right. It's great. Enough about your diet. Well, no, wait, uh, wait, okay. wait, wait. What, what munchie? Is it important? What? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it, yes, it is important. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I want to talk about food more because I love food. I, I, ben, Ben, you said that the experience of eating food is fleeting, and I agree. And this is why I hate sex. But food is different <laughs> than sex because food, you can have it, like, you, you, you can, like, go out to a restaurant, you can have it with other people, and we'll be, uh, that's what we can have to do with sex. Never mind. Uh, all I'm saying is that restaurants are good, and I like going to restaurants, and I like people to talk to people. Eating food and talking to people and the experience of being out of your house, out in the world, yeah. eating at 
at a restaurant, perhaps a restaurant you've never been to before, at a new restaurant, with your friends, talking about the day you've had and the experiences you're going to have soon. That is far better than ever sex you could ever have. Recommendation. just being at a restaurant. Take that, yeah. you, you pop into that 7-Eleven and grab your food, and then you take it out into no. nature and eat it in the yeah! forest. Yeah! That's how you fucking have a That's a good idea. I thought you were going to say, dope. take your 7-Eleven, go to a fancy restaurant, and no, eat it no, in no. there. Guys, that would guys, be hilarious. guys, guys, guys. Guys, picnics are such a cute idea. No. I would love. I, I, you know, the, 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 there's, there's like a big yard at Recon Three. We should have a picnic. That's we a good have idea. A vlog picnic. That's a good Can idea. We have a picnic at Recon Four, whatever. Oh, whenever ins- I come over, uh, uh, I want to probably maybe. Is, you can't promise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, off topic. Can we <laughs> yeah, do Radcon Four we'll in England? Like, like Maid shows up to Radcon Four. And she's like, so can we do another picnic? Like you guys did at the last one. I'm like, no. Uh, <laughs> that, that idea is nah, passed. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah the moment's old. passed. It's over. <laughs> it's <only laughs> we're, we're all about. Uh, we're all about. Um, um, we're all about uh, eating. Uh, eating Soylent now. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, Radcon Three Arena is confirmed. Everybody, this will be the yeah, first yes. time the Kickstarter is now over, and not only is it confirmed, but the first Kickstarter tier is already fulfilled. It, it's unlikely at this point yeah. we'll have gotten the second, but maybe it will. Who knows, man? Wait, we'll did see. we already? Oh, wait, wait. There's two. Yeah, yeah. We wait, got the when first. Does the Kickstarter Who knows if end? We the second. It ends in like four days from today oh, on shit. on the twenty first, I think. Yeah. I thought there yeah. was still a lot of time left. No, uh, well, no. whatever. Anyway, uh, next. I mean, my my Kickstarter spiked like crazy in the last couple days. Next question is from Dry Fair Bones. Enough. Dry Bones. Mm-hmm. This is one of my favorite questions we've ever gotten on the show. Mm-hmm. By the way, mm-hmm. uh, would you consider yourself above your dad? Could you defeat him physically Oof. or intellectually? <laughs> Not physically, intellectually. Yes. Not physically. Mm-hmm. My dad's very strong. Uh, Munchy, I thought you didn't my, even very, know very, very hard. No, no. Everyone, no one says I know my dad, and that does not make it okay. <laughs> okay, that doesn't make his crimes any less potent. That's, that's my, true. my dad. My dad it, it is an old geezer, but he's so fucking strong. Here's what he does: mm. he hikes with rocks in his backpack, and every God month damn. he adds a new rock to his backpack. What the fuck? He's been doing this for years. Is he a that fucking he, martial arts training or something like that? Yes. The fuck? He he has like thirty rocks in his fucking bag, or, or like, like, like like you a ton. Show training shit or something. It's fucking crazy. He's insane. Well, that's awesome. Uh, he's powerful, but he's also a fucking. I can idiot. see where you got your power from now. Yeah, thank you. That's really sweet of you. I feel like thank this question you. has a bit more nuance in my situation because I'm his <laughs> daughter. It's so like, what okay. father would want to punch his daughter, you know? Mm, mm. Uh, well, as opposed so to say, fathers want to punch wait, their sons. Yeah, are you saying that most you <laughs> could beat him physically because he won't hit you? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I, I, the thing is, I don't want to hit him either, so I don't know. But you have to, mate. She's coming at you with a gun. Well, okay. What are you going to do? <laughs> it, doesn't say, it doesn't say he anything doesn't about having to fight them. It just says, can you defeat him physically or intellectually? I, okay, physically, most likely, no. No, I wouldn't. Even though I'm taller than him. No, I'm not. I'm, mm, a, I'm mm. a squish boy. Uh, <laughs> intellectually, probably, he's quite close-minded. He's, he's very averse to new ideas and stuff, so probably I could. Against new age, you know, beliefs. D- don't limit yourself to just one box. I feel like everyone's going to say that about <laughs> their parents, because that's essentially what I was going to say about my dad. It's been probably as well. My dad oh. is a very smart man. Well, Nate, you could, why are we so man. weak? But Nate, why you could definitely so beat your dad physically, right? Isn't he? A- a- at this point, yes. At this point, yes. Not for a long time, though. Not for a long time. I don't know. Everyone's kind of scared of their dads, I think, including me, uh, um, to some degree. Yeah, our our dad is, fires, uh, storms, and our dad here. is a is a fucking intellectual fortress, if nothing else. Uh, yeah, that's okay. for sure. Well, let that's me tell sure. you why you've all played yourself on this. Okay. Because the question says, could you defeat him physically? Now, mm-hmm. if I have to fight my dad one on one, hand to hand, no, I can't beat him. That nigga runs marathons and bench right. presses my more than my body weight, mm-hmm. and I can't bench press more than my body. weight. Well, maybe I, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know how much it's like an impressive amount to be able to bench press. But anyways, <laughs> he fucking he's a strong man. However, mm-hmm. could I defeat him physically? I'm good at setting up traps, you know. I'm oh, you're gonna home like, alone is that? I'm, that, that is obviously perversion I'm good at the, using the weapons. I'm good at fucking tricks. That's you know, a version of the quest. You know, me and me and my brother Victor used to fight in the Not backyard bad. all the time. Well, you ran your marathons. And I practiced with the blockchain. <laughs> well, you lived. <laughs> yeah, exactly. While well, you worked on on feeble aesthetics, I mastered. Well, you painted Bushido. the house I vlogged. Exactly. So, so like me and Victor used to fight in the backyard all the time, and Victor would be stronger than me, but I would uh-huh. just like grab shit on the ground 
ground and throw it at him and then <laughs> jump perfect, on him, perfect. you know? So I can do that to my dad. Okay, fair enough. Because he fights. So he you like fight Victor dirty. Is, yeah, exactly. And Victor, okay, my, my okay. dad probably won't fight nearly as dirty as I will. Or at least not as, like... Inv- like he won't think of the environment as much as I will. I got the Jackie Chan thing going on, you know. Like I'll throw the the yeah. TV at him or something. Um, <laughs> so I do think I could defeat him physically if we if I had to. Like if it was not just oh we're like having a blood feud, like we're we're passionately fighting a father and mm-hmm. son. You know, mm-hmm. if we're like if I, my dad's a zombie and I gotta kill him, like I can kill him. You know, well if he's a if zombie, you have prep he has time. different attributes. You can kill your well, dad with prep time. time. Uh, let's, let's say he's like under. Power. Let's say he's gone evil. He's gone rogue. Yeah. And he's murdering let's everybody. Let's say he's become King Deity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now he's I, gone King I will Deity. say that in order for me to find the inner strength to kill my dad, he might have to strangle Shade first. Like okay. I might need that motive, you know. Mm-hmm. But sure. if if you know if someone's been strangled, then I can probably get him. Uh, intellectually, my dad would. My dad's a smart guy, but he would probably forfeit to me intellectually, TBH, because he thinks I'm a fucking <laughs> genius. So, fair enough. My, fair my, enough. my dad would destroy me both physically and in- intellectually, uh, and emotionally. Uh, I've already done that to myself. Let's be real. Um, no, he's That's he's like he's. Tom, you sound like you were on the verge of tears with the, when saying that. By the way, you sound like you were about to cry. Um. That was not intentional, but maybe that says something deep about myself that I'm not aware of. It's very possible. Uh, but no, he's like, he's like, to kill he, his dad my dad so works bad. out. He's su- <laughs> yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. No, my mm-hmm. dad's like super built. He's like the chief financial yeah. officer for Hanscom Air Force Base. He manages multi million dollar budgets like on the daily. Duh. So, there you go. yeah, smart guy. Yeah, but does he guy. even have a YouTube channel? Like, what <laughs> does fuck, he dude? even blog? Uh, <laughs> if if o- if only he he had a debuff like that, I might stand a chance. But no, he it, it he guy. hasn't been distracted <laughs> by the uh, f- f- feudal pursuits like we all have. So indeed. All right, here's a here's our next what? question from Hor- mm-hmm. from Horsepower. I, 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 I call next one. Okay. Um, it says, "How do you know if you're chasing a dream?" Or a dilution. Oh, that's got to be uh, somebody made a video called that recently. Who was that? Was that Fantano? It was Fantano. Yeah. Oh made yeah, a video. Fantano did. Except dreams, he probably delusions. said delusion and not uh, di- dilution. Not dilution. <laughs> that's that's true. I would that's I would true. expect so. Uh, I don't, I don't know if there is a way to. I mean, I There's how do you ways, qualify? What is it? Mm-hmm. When do you say it's a delusion? Like, if you're making money off I, of it, does that mean it's not a delusion? But like, what if it falls away one day? Delu- Was it a delusion? I think a delusion is inherently only decided after the fact. I don't know if you can. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, you, okay. Let, like, let's. You, you, really you have know, to like, try directly, before you'll know. Yeah. Let's talk a- about soon, this. As soon as you know it's a delusion, it's over. That's let's, what it constitutes a delusion. Let, let's talk about the exact example that he brought up. It's this guy. He didn't say his name, but everyone was quite. It was quite clear who he was talking about. This guy, Uncle Adams. Uh, he's made a bunch of cringy music videos and songs in the past, uh, and he is now, like, he's, he talked about how he's already sold his house, he sold his car, he's making these vlogs or whatever. He is, like, $200,000 in debt at this point, and he's decided he is not stopping until he has, like, a, je- a big music career. Like, here's what I don't understand about that. It's like somebody like me was able to just do YouTube while having a job and not completely burying myself in debt. I think that is the smart path to take. To put all your eggs in one basket like that seems like a mistake, in my opinion. Yeah. And, no, like, to like, be fair... I, I think guy... you just need to know if it's yeah. a sure thing. I mean, sure. I can see putting all your eggs in one basket if you're, like... It I depends think on circumstance. A, yeah, I mm-hmm. mean, if you think um, you've got the masterpiece of the century in your mind, and, like, if yeah. you just drop out of school for a year and work on it, you're going to fucking blow the world away with your novel. But you really got to mm-hmm. think about, like, how much... Uh, time is it going to take? You know, are yeah. you actually capable of delivering on it? Um, get some opinions. See how people react to it. Who would, you know, find someone who would enjoy it and show it to them and see if they do enjoy it, you know? Because if nobody you know, likes it. You then. know the story of Disney and Snow White and how he had, like, to, I think, mm, what, what's the mm. word, mortgage his house or something that's like right, that? That's right. That's right. Like, he put a lot of his savings and, like, basically he was, like, risking it all. The Cuphead developers just did that, remortgaged their houses to make Cuphead. They did. That was a they big did. part yeah. of the story. I mean, and lots of people have done it, but, like, th- when in those cases, like, we're talking about Disney is making a movie with some of the best animation quality that had ever been done. So, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. there's almost guaranteed an audience when you know for a fact that you are doing something of, like, a technical level of craftsmanship above 
anything else anyone's doing. And if you were mm-hmm. doing that, you would know you were doing it because you would be yeah. able to observe everyone else and you know everything about their we, technique. We hear and a what lot of doing. like anecdotal stories about like you know yeah. successful people who are risking it all, but like we hear about them those examples because they're successful. Like, there's like dozens right. and hundreds and thousands of exactly. people who've done the same thing and got totally and, like, fucked. When you yeah. look at the Cuphead yeah. development, like, of course they remortgaged their house, because the first time they took that game to E3, it was fucking all anyone was talking about, so they knew they had a hit on their hands. Like, they would be stupider not to do it if they were passionate enough to finish the project, you know, and make sure it was good. But yeah. that's yeah. like, so you gotta look at it different, you, you gotta, you know, think about risk differently from just, oh, they remortgaged their house, they took a huge risk. It's like, yeah, but they took a huge risk on a sure thing, you know, so it's not really yeah. a risk at all. I just like I want to pull up how many subs this guy just get a feel for what success he's gotten at the moment. He has one video that's got like something like 500,000 views. His YouTube channel has about 26,000 subscribers. Like oh. the the fact of the matter is he is not that successful, yes. I think honestly what this guy what this man had was a dangerous thing is that he got a little too much taste of success and oh, it kind yeah. of addled his brain. I think like, that's this... what ruins like most YouTubers. Like I think yeah, a lot of the yeah. YouTubers who end up only only being around for a couple years, it's because one thing plays mm-hmm. into like the algorithm just right, or maybe even right. a few videos for a little while, and like, you know, you just take off, and then as soon as you don't have that weird magical foothold that like whatever YouTube's algorithm was at that moment just happened mm-hmm. to like align perfectly with your shit, then yeah. uh, you know you might fall off if your fans don't actually care about you. you know? I watched a bunch of this guy's videos, and he talked about how like when he started this vlog, like, yeah, I was about to release a video, uh, you know, I was really hoping that would be the one that blew up, and he says, like, maybe it'll take, like, a week, maybe it'll take a month, maybe it'll take a couple months for me to succeed, but, like, we're talking about a man building up his music career, like, from the ground floor. This should not be an idea of, like, within days I'll have made it. No. Like, Mm -hmm. I could tell just by listening to his videos, he has a way warped sense of time for what he thinks this is gonna be. And and I watch some of the music videos, like, not good, and he has people cringing at his videos. Like, this is the kind of guy we're talking about. Uh, it just, it scares me, man. This is a guy, I think, who's a victim of kind of the, the, Dunning you know, Kruger weird effect. success. I, I would, I wouldn't yeah. call him a victim. He's choosing this. He's, he's doing this. Well, all I'm saying is I, th- I think he's, he's under, he's experiencing some, uh, confirmation bias in what he's doing, and he sure. sees all the success people, and he thinks, if I just, com-, and you know what, if this guy makes it, everyone will say, like, oh, well, look at all the haters, man. He will say, like, look at all the haters yeah. who doubted me. But the thing is, what matters is not whether he succeeds or not. What matters was the degree of risk he was willing to expose himself to. And yeah. for some people, they can expose them to a little risk and have it pay off great. Guys like me are extremely conservative about this kind of things and do not put a lot of risk into what they do. Uh, but like I would argue this guy put it way too I, much out I'll there. I'll tell you right now, I consider myself yeah. a huge risk taker, but like yeah, you not are. in the way like I only take the big risk after I've already got, you know, uh ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars saved door. up and yeah, I'm yep. like uh you know sure that like, I have to make sure everything's set up, you know? It, I'm willing to make a big leap, but I'm going to make sure I fucking have gauged the distance that I'm jumping, mm-hmm. you know? And like, We say you're not spontaneous in that way, I, I Well, you know, before I make the leap, I lick my finger, and I hold it up, and I feel the winds, and I mm-hmm. determine which mm-hmm. way they're blowing, you know? Then I'll you're make a, a jump. calculated like, risk taker. Exactly. I think there's a lot of people who just are just straight up don't even know what they're supposed to be looking for. They just see a hole yeah. and they think they can jump over it and they don't even realize that they don't have legs, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. there's people like that on YouTube. All right. Yeah. It's true, man. Uh, Munchie, you wanted to do the I, next question? Yes, yes. By JH <laughs> the Hurricane in the questions bar, what is the PCP's Mass Effect 3? Something so disappointing that you retroactively hate all the related content that comes before it. Hmm. Something like, that, something that, that we made before. or something that we feel like that about? I, I think he I, I think what he, what he meant was, like, what do we feel is the case? But I, Maybe but John I think, Tron, historically, was kind of like that? <laughs> I, I, I wanted to take this in the way that, like, what have we created that, that, that we hate? Like, like, that, like, like retroactively we now hate it and be like, uh, I'm so embarrassed. I don't or think that that's, I hate not, much. that's yeah, not much. There's nothing I've made that makes me hate retroactively all the things I've made before it. I don't think that's what yeah, he's asking. I that, think he that, means, like... But, 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 do you, but is there a piece of content that you are like, oh, I shouldn't have made that? My fucking pony vids. Um, Your what? 
Your, but, 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 Mage, they were your foothold to, to stepping stone, you know, what, whatever. Oh, pony to... vids, did yeah, you say? Yeah, pony yeah. things. Yeah. Just, but those uh... were pretty successful, some of them. Yeah, I don't well, regret well, T-Bap at all. That's not the gauge yeah, for but, success. But now I'm stuck well, I'm... In, in the pony fandom's shadow, and, like, three or four years later, people still, like, poke me about the pony things, and I'm just like, I'm done with this. You you definitely don't make as hard of a cut as as the fellow guys here did. You're I not, did. I made a... I made an announcement. I told people. I I fucking I well, not drawing in, in ponies what anymore. ways is this just that people ask you about pony? Because that doesn't seem like a major issue if they just kind of ask you about it. People just... still make uh, Keg and Phantom fan art, and uh, I love it. <laughs> Acro's fan art of Keg and Phantom, and and the rest of the oh, crew was great. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to that Acro, great. killing it as yeah. always. Fucking a- Acro, fucking of arm retrieval, like a veteran general of arm retrieval. Indeed. Acro is fucking incredible. <laughs> okay. so just I get sometimes people are just actively denying that I left the fandom, and I'm just like, wake up. Wake Grab a brush and put a little makeup. Wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Um, I definitely oh. think I. Oh, sorry, mate. She can continue. No, I mean, like, uh, I may, I make it so- sound worse than it is actually. Okay. But okay. S- some, some of the things in, in in the pony thing, like it's the lethal Halloween thing. I'm kind of embarrassed by it because it's really, really bad. <laughs> but people really like it, so I'm, I'm kind of really embarrassed by it. That's mostly. fair enough. I mean, there's um, a lot of my videos I'm embarrassed by, like, because generally my, you know, writing style and taste evolve over time, and sometimes I rewatch some old shit, and I'm just like, what the fuck am I talking about? Why did I make this? Why did I think this is okay? Um, <laughs> but, like, most of it is stuff that I think I uh, appreciate why people would have liked it at the time. There's very few videos that I've made that were, like, e- when they came out, they were DOA, and like the Mario Odyssey mm-hmm. video I made is definitely oh, one yeah. of them. Where like, ah. I was just like, <laughs> I I don't know why I made that video because I knew that the only way I was gonna convince anybody of my point is by doing like an in-depth analytical breakdown, a la Matthew Matosis. And Joseph, I'm sure Joseph that Anderson. when his video comes out, he probably will criticize the visuals of that game because I trust him to fucking have sense. Mm-hmm. But um. I jumped the gun and just made something quick and easy, and I thought that if I opened it by just being like, yo, this is a goofy video, like, people would be okay with it, but they were not. (laughs) Nobody was okay with it. They're pretty rabid about that. Yeah, so it was just, it it just didn't need to exist. Like, it was just a PR disaster, basically. Like, it was just me coming out with an unpopular opinion, not defending it well, and then just having people be like, well, we disagree, and we hate you for having made this, like, for having (laughs) even brought this to the attention of the world in the first place. Gigi, didn't that, that, like, fucking stupid vlog video have, like, rebuttal videos and, like, 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 videos, like, taking you down? Who the fuck cares? Dude, I, I can't. I can't believe this is why that I don't happened. make videos about video games. Like, because it's, <laughs> it's not worth it's, it. It's not something that I made, but I guess probably the thing I'm most ashamed of would be uh, analysis anarchy uh, being associated oh, with that. Yeah. Oh yes. Uh, I, I just watched that the other day, in fact. Oh, my God. Does, does it hold I, up? I, does it hold up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it holds up. Is it as good I, as I, I remember? I, I showed it to all my offline friends to, to specifically show you, Ben. I, I showed them like like I showed them to like be like, you know that guy? I know that guy. He's, he's my friend. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. Awful, awful. <laughs> so that's the first thing they know of you. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's what I deserve. Okay, to, be fair, though, to be fair, Ben's part, it, it, honestly, with the silver quill quip, I remember being the only kind of funny part yeah, in the video. I, I didn't so, read I the script. Remember. I just looked at my, like, two lines, and I thought, all right, well, these yeah. aren't terrible. I'll read them. And then I yep. watched the whole video, and it's like, so it goes so downhill from there. Like, yeah. once the actual plot gets underway, it's like, oh, my God, this is this is what we're doing. No, please. Uh, oh, yes. Shameful. Oh, yes. Uh, I, that, I, reminds I would me, say... that reminds me that I uh, I have to do something similar for a guy's abridged series. That mm. um that someone just, like, messaged me, like, hey, will you do a voice in my abridged series on um, mm-hmm. Black Clover or whatever? And I was like, uh, yeah. uh, sure, as long as he said it'll only be a couple lines. I'm like, sure. And then I get the lines, and I am, first of all, have way more than a couple lines and second Mm -hmm. of all my character is all quotes from my videos so uh (laughs) but i already like i didn't actually he sent me the script and i didn't actually read it for a straight week and by the time i read it everyone else had done their lines so i'm like 
now I find I kind of feel like I have to do it because like I'm the only one holding this thing up, but like I hadn't read it beforehand, so I'm just like, oh god. Yeah, you fucked up a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, 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 I should probably do that performance today because that guy's been asking me for weeks and I've just been ignoring. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh th- there is an uncanny valley type situation for embarrassing content for me mm. because like like if I go back into my past and I read old role plays or something, they are hilarious. They are great. They, 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 they do not even, like, I do not, I, I cannot imagine it was, like, to be, like, ten in writing role plays. I can't mm-hmm. imagine. The, I, I, I am not that person. So it's funny to, like, look back and be like, oh, wh- wasn't this silly? Wasn't this a cringy, you know, funny time? Ha, ha, ha. But the closer you get to being actually real-life me, and the more embarrassing it gets, it gets to be like, oh, I remember writing that. <sighs> Uh, How many oh, years before like Munchie pissing on stream is like his worst memory of all That's his whole life? No, <laughs> that will that will never be the case. We'll <laughs> pissing on <laughs> I can't I can't wait for the new segment Munchie versus Munchie in like three years. Fucking ten, ten mm. no ten years from now when he's like running for office because he's become like really <laughs> politically <laughs> minded and stuff. And, yeah, like, yeah, literally his career is ruined by the time he pissed on PCP because like everyone has files oh. of it. God damn. Well, okay, okay, okay. That, if, if I do decide to run for office, literally the entirety of, uh, like, me saying this right now will be an embarrassment and will be the worst thing that I probably have done. Yeah. I, I, I've just resigned myself to the fact that I will never be a politician because I just could not be. Yeah. There's just no way that I could be. I've resigned like, like, myself I, to the I, fact I, that I, I probably can't hold any job anymore because, like, any background yeah. check on me is just going to turn up, like, a bunch of fucking weird troll videos and shit. Like, yeah. yeah. You'll need yeah. to be some There's sort of, no like, way. social influencer or, like, a writer for a magazine. Like, working at, like, a McDonald's or something would be, like, yeah, they look that up and it's like, well, what the fuck is this about? Yeah. Uh, but then again, hopefully it wouldn't come to that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Excellent. I, 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 I've been using the same name for, like, two, like, so long now mm-hmm. that, like, my entire history is documented. Yeah. So it's, like, it's, like, like no matter what, like, I will never be able to, like, escape. That's, I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm just saying that, like, the closer you get to, like, me right now, uh, like, like it's, it's, again, it's like a valley. So, like, if I were to go two years back, I would probably be like, oh, God, why did I say and do these things? But if I go, like, like five years back, I'll be like, I don't even remember this. How, yeah, like, I like, know. Like, there's no way I, I could have done this. Yeah. this. Like, this is not. I've real. seen a it's few things on my blog that I'm legit like, there's like, this is impossible. There's no way I had yeah. this opinion. The like Ghost in the yeah. Shell standalone complex. It's the ugliest anime. Oh or, yeah, and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Next question. Uh, mm-hmm. Sandalwood asks, "What's the most at drill thing you've ever done?" Ben, I want to know you. I want to know if you got an answer to this. Oh man, I bet I could think of some. Um, you know what? Uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. I, you I'm, know, I'm Ben, gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say. Go mold this uh, over. I'm okay. Gonna go walk up and down my hallway. I feel Let like just most um, things that the PCP have done together could fit into a drill tweet. Like the group shit, that might be a pretty at drill yeah. thing that we all did. The group shit was very taking drill. a group I, shit at BronyCon with five internet. <laughs> People that I fucking am living with now, or it's rooming I'm just, with. I'm looking at, I pulled up Drill's Twitter. Here's a recent one from February 16th, or so yesterday. Time to look at the moments tab. I lay down in the bathtub, and a guy smears shit all over my chest with his ass while using a taser on me. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Pretty, yeah, you group, know? Take it, five-man group shit at BronyCon with my internet buddies. That's a Drill tweet, if you I ask agree. me. I, <laughs> I agree. I, I, I almost... When, whenever it comes to questions like this, I, I almost feel like I haven't done anything with my life. Uh-huh. But, but even though, like, I, I know I have, like, a reputation for being, like, crazy. The, uh, like, I, th- I, I think about them so much that it's, like, that's, that doesn't even feel weird to me. I mean, pissing like, like, on you know, stream like, like, is like, pretty fucking ad drill. That's yeah. true. And, and and fucking walking up and down my my my, my like rich white uh like like town like in full pizza and top hat uh, pizza onesie top hat <laughs> proclaiming that I am a prince from Africa and I will buy out every small business and because I am the I'm the owner Dude. of Microsoft that's a that's pretty ad drill yeah that, that's very just, ad drill because you brought up that exact example just listen to this question uh, just as an insert to this larger question this is from the from the from the uh, Twitter uh, hashtag ask PCP everybody it's Pageant a question how Pretty. is it that only six years ago Munchie was a small baby boy swaddled in the garments of a slain Arab prince while baptized in the blood of 100 maidens. <laughs> Sounds pretty relevant. 
it, 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 it's amazing to see my growth from from just six years ago being a baby. To it's now a shame being, he had to give up yeah. his claim to the throne of Dubai, but nonetheless, he's made the best yeah, of the situation. I feel like... it, it's, it's, it's the same. I had to stop being a Nigerian prince to do anime raps on the internet, yeah. and then I had and then I had to you know crash with other people because I was homeless. That's a, that's a real shame. I it's had like, to. I I have to imagine that Ben has gone off into the bathroom stripped naked and is just like <laughs> fucking flailing himself with a trout right now, which ironically of, like, enough is at drill thing. Which ironically enough is pretty drill itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or, but, yeah, but, just the tweet yeah. would be like, trying to make some shit happen for the podcast I'm on, <laughs> left to the bathroom to beat myself with a trout, nothing's happening, help. You know, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> um, well, 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 oh. I mean, tweet, Drill is really all about his brand, right? Yeah, yeah like, of course. Drill, like everything Drill does, he does for the Drill brand. Um, and he's always, and he's always wheeling and dealing. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, like the the only thing that comes to mind that's particularly drillish is like there, there's nothing in specific, but there's just like I don't know. Ev- everywhere I've always lived, people have remarked that like I just do things in a, in a strange way, and and they okay. don't know. Like I'll just I'll just assemble food in like a bizarre order that doesn't make any. <laughs> or I'll just I'll just like throw things together and, and people are always like ben why do you do that and i'm always like and i'm always like i don't know why anyone doesn't do it this way <laughs> like that's just my, my stock answer is like i don't understand why everyone doesn't do everything the way that i do which seems like kind of a drill yeah, that's that's me. a fairly drill sentiment i guess mm-hmm. all right i got one more question okay. uh xenograde asks what quote do you want carved onto your tombstone I, I was about to do this one. I want the classic. My uh, my heartbeat clips the microphone. That should be on my yeah, tombstone. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Especially from a fucking corpse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I know I had an no answer one else for this. Saying anything. I had definitely. I'm, like, I'm just think. thinking because I know I had some answers for this, but I can't remember them I'm right s- now. I'm still banking on on me oh, making oh, it. Oh, oh, to... weaponized uh, thickness for the force. Oh, of the yeah, 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 that's the one. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm-hmm. I'll uh, weaponize in thickness with Jesus. That's, that's <laughs> what I want. Mm-hmm. Maybe some quotes from the, from the Q Mark kerfuffle. You know, you, you gotta bring back your past. Yes, uh, you don't even know me at all. Don't understand the meaning of my fall. What my family would think if I ever failed at anything. That's, that's I what I want on my grave. You had to, had to fight. Yeah. <laughs> For my tombstone, I'd be like BRB respawning. Oh, dude, is, she, is she a stone, gamer girl? Holy shit. <laughs> my tombstone just say the living on Mage, it. Mage, your tombstone should just have, like, the hexadecimal code for purple on, on it. Yes. Ooh, that's a good idea. You know, I want a QR code that leads to, like, an ARG that, that's inspired. Oh, my God, that would be so fucking dope. <laughs> yeah, that's that, what I want. That, yeah, that's, that's what, what I want. Just, just, just have, just have, like, the, un, just, yeah, go just, ahead, go just ahead. have a tombstone just says, like, comment, subscribe. That's that's Ooh, how you si- you sign off from life. That's a good the, one. The, I- the idea of a posthumous ARG <laughs> is the most appealing concept to me in the entire fucking world. Yeah, I, right. I I I hope that I still have this interest w- when I am in fact dead. <laughs> I, I, I I the idea of like solving an ARG and instead of like Slender Man, it's a real life actual corpse that is dead. Look it up on their net. Wow, mm. he's dead. Yep. Ghost. That is fucking dope. Munch, you got you got to figure this out. You got to start Agreed. laying the breadcrumbs now. You got to start la- leaving clues in PCP episodes. That's true. The the, the 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 final link will be me pissing. <laughs> the episode. Will be a timestamp yes. of that. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Incredible. No, no one else have anything, Ben. Uh, what was the question? T- uh, what would you have on your tombstone? Uh. Oh God! Well, now I'm embarrassed because I just thought of a really great um, tombstone etching that I remember I heard someone talking about. But mm. now I'm remembering that the person I heard talking about it was Danny from Game Grumps, and I don't oh. want to just repeat something that was said on Game Grumps. So I'm going well, to gracefully bow out. You've given him credit. Now I'm just curious what it is. We understand oh, it's his. Oh, it, it was like it was a poem that was like. Um, mm. As as you are now, so once was I. As I am now, so you shall be, or something. Mm, it, was, okay. it was kind of like a passive aggressive little poem about like, yeah, I'm dead, but fuck you. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Game grumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game grumps, guys. The game grumps are here. All right, I think we're among I think us. We're done. No, I haven't. I, I my no? tombstone. I oh, only right. specifically want this if I live mm. incredibly long. But I want it to just be like hey, hey, every know, pony. He, he left us. I want it to be like, <laughs> I, only if I live incredibly long. I want it to be like he left us too soon. 
or something like <laughs> like like sh- okay. like life is brief or something like that, and just like I live like a hundred and twenty years or something. Yeah. He- here lies the otaku Gonzo corpse. <laughs> Forever may he rest. May um, he never fly. rise from this crypt again, <laughs> as he has several may, may times. He, may his tyranny never return. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think we've said all there is to say on, on the topic of nature. It's true. Uh, is death good? Is nature death? Yes, we are gonna die right now. Wait, who wins in a fight, nature or nurture? Who's stronger? I I was trying Um, to figure out how to make a fucking versus nurture joke the whole show, (laughs) but eventually an hour had passed, and I was like, we don't need to go Uh, on this tangent. Nurture wins. I'm saying nurture. Nurture wins. We we can have an entire other episode on nurture. I would love that. Fucking, you know, good idea. Literally press one for nurture. I will literally do that. Okay, well, uh, let's deal with that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, goodbye. everyone. Oh, uh, make sure you uh, do a, a Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash the procrastinators. One dollar for the for the chat. Five dollars for the bonus episodes. Gamergate, 2016 election, Trump, Drumpf, it's all there. Got a bunch of old episodes, too. Uh, uh, we got uh, iTunes and Google Play. Tom hooks us up with that shit. Links or something. Go figure it out. Uh, and that's it. Radcon 3, people. In a couple of weeks, six of us will be there. We're entering the arena. Uh, March 14th is the beginning. And there you go. Join us for fun. It's going to be good. It's going to be hey. good. 100th episode of PCP coming up burr, on that burr, week. Burr. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 I didn't actually, I didn't oh, no. Wait, who is? I'm stopping. Stop recording. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I'm supposed to be working right now I'm supposed to